What is up? Hello, Tash. How are you doing this fine evening? Quiet post pre-stream today. Hey, June. First, congrats on being first, June. Uh, technically, you are, you know, there's a whole new meaning to first now because you are the first person to have their chat message shown on the chat on screen. So, yes, that is a kind of first. Yippee! How are you doing? I hope your Friday went well. Hello, YouTube! Oh, God. Friday, indeed. And one of the last remaining Fridays before the end of everything. And by everything, I mean the year. Finish loading. All oh, right, I forgot I have to like, I have to press yes after it says finish loading. It like, this is just automatically load when I load, which is a little strange. First orange name in chat? Yo, what's up, Smee? But you are the first orange name in chat. You might be the only orange name in chat. Off the top of my head, aren't you the only regular with an orange name? Otter's name is orange, but uh, they only come in here for a select few puzzle games. Hello, VOD Watcher number seven. Hope you stub your toe. You think we have seven VOD Watchers? That is, uh... I mean, it's ambitious, June. It's ambitious, that's all I'll say. But yeah, I hope you're all well. I hope you're all recovered from the fallout of the Game Awards. Someone else is orange? You can't remember who. I should probably know this off the top. Well, should I know this off the top of the head? Is this something that's like embarrassing for me to not know? I don't think so. What money do I have here? Right, okay. I have so many things that I can do in Lammy Lana, by the way. Speaking of the video game, I have the entire world opened up to me. I could go anywhere. Didn't butt used to be orange? I'm pretty sure butt has always been yellow. I think butt has changed his color before and I have quickly urged him to go back to yellow because that was the iconic color for me, but uh, I, I don't really I mean, could be right? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Mortal Battlefield. This is where we were at at the end of yesterday. I, I, I realized something. I made a connection in my little brain, in my little monkey peanut brain. Um, as I was brushing my teeth last night, I realized something that I was probably supposed to do here. I'm gonna go do it. Well, I'm not doing it right now, but I'll do it as soon as I pick up this other thing. Also, I never went up here, did I? This connects somewhere else. This goes somewhere else entirely. Where does this go? Oh! Oh, that's not what I expected. Also, that sucks. Because there's no way back down. Okay, never mind. Interesting. I wonder if all of the areas are physically connected like that. Because it's supposed to be all one big tree and they're like stacked on top of each other, right? I forget if there were any one-way exits or entrances between regions in Lama Lana 1. Huh. Anyway. I don't want to be here. <laughs> I just wanted to see where that went. Um, yeah, no, it's weird. I feel like orange is a good Twitch color. I think especially since I am so known for uh, forget, like for mistaking people's names in chat, I feel like it would behoove people to choose original uh, hex codes colors, you know? But who am I to behoove people? I mean, I'm no horse and neither are they. Okay, the race scanner. This is what I wanted to come back for. When we put this race scanner, apparently the races are like actually relevant potentially for puzzle solving, which means it's going to be useful to have this in here. Although I don't have anything immediately that I would know what to do with it. Now this area is Giga Omega Gigantic. Like it is unbelievably intimidatingly large. So we're just going to start, you know, walking, really. See what happens. This area, okay, this is the thing. This is the thing that I was talking about. So check this shit out. All right. I get a message from coming here? Oh. Checking out the Immortal Battlefield. It's super big. It's a maze. The walls in the back are divided into red and blue areas. It looks like you can't enter the blue area yet. Might be a gate somewhere that leads there. A lot of paths are closed off by various mechanisms. So try walking around as much as possible to find the best way to progress. Right. Okay. Here's my theory here, right? 
it's that I'm supposed to use this Gale Fibula, which I got in this area, in order to pass this upcoming Crusher hallway before I get crushed. So check this shit out. Uh, okay, I think I was supposed to die, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to die. I think, I think, I, I think it glitched out. I think I was 100% supposed to die there. But that's okay. We are, we're sequence breaking, question mark? I was supposed to die? Oh, good. That's disgusting. Oh, sorry, it's me, it's message. This booby streamer's been popping up in your recommendations last week. Normally wouldn't care. She's doing the thing where she appears naked with her nips just off camera frame. Yeah, I think I've I've maybe been getting uh, the same one actually, Smeebit. I don't know. And I mean, there's probably multiple. What's her username so you can make sure never to watch her channel? I'm getting one that's like Asian Bunny something. Also, what's up, Newman? What's up, Butt? Also, Tash. I didn't realize Tash was such a gentlemanly, you know, enjoyer of high class uh, Twitch chat. Hope you're doing well, Newman. You do seem to be going big and gay and fast, and I appreciate all that. How are you doing, butt? I am fully invincible because I glitched my way out of all the insta-death scenarios. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, hey! There's another teleport spot down here that I can't reach because I can't jump that high out of water. How fucking troll. Okay. It's her Asian bunny axe? Oh, nice. Also, hi, Avery. How are you doing? You can report her? Can you report her? I don't think she. I don't think you can report her. She even shakes them together. Twitch needs to have some standards. Have you? Have you actually watched her stream? But I've never actually clicked on the stream. I've just seen her uh, recommended like profile or whatever. I I thought I thought it was like, I thought they were like uh, fake. Like you know how you can have like the. Uh, the like prosthetic thing that you like put over your shoulders and then you can like blend it into your neck with like makeup or whatever. We're not allowed to be clearly naked like that. Can you really not? Like, is it, it, do you know for a fact that she's actually naked and it's not just like a prosthetic like torso or whatever? Like to see if it's reportable, give it about five minutes before deciding it's so. Oh, sure, Smee, but okay, yeah. Oh, I need to inspect this to see if it's worthy of the authorities. Good time. Noah's invincible to falling. Ah, but I didn't die, but so in that sense, I am invincible still. I would argue. I, w I would say. Where there's ruins, there's lava. Fall into it and you're screwed, but there's a treasure that'll make the lava bearable. It's a mysterious cape called the Ice Cape. Wait, there is lava? Oh, there is lava. Oh, shit. Oh, hello. Wolf. Cool. What's going on? Oh, we're talking about this um, booby streamer who both me and Smeebit have independently got in our recommended uh, video, like recently, um, called like Asian Bunny X or something. And oh, that's troll. Oh, that's very troll. The stone resets when I go through here. That's really. You, you sure about that? What about what if I do it like this? Oh, and I can't... Oh, and I just... Now I just... Okay. Whatever, man. Here you've been reporting streamers for not being naked enough. Uh, that's why I've been getting so many reports, Weapons. That explains a lot. How are you doing, by the way, Weapons? Good to see you. Anyway, I don't know. Oh, hey, I can go in there, apparently. But I, Except I can't actually go in there. I don't think it's, like, against the rules, is it? To do that kind of stuff? I don't know. I know that, like, guys are allowed to be shirtless on stream now. So. Surely it's just a double standard if she's. Especially if she's not even showing nip. You did recheck the guidelines. You can't find the part about seeming naked with tube tops. You swear it used to be there, but it's not there. I. I, I do think they have, um. loosened the regulations a bit recently because I know for a while, like, Guys couldn't be uh, sh topless either, I think, but they made that. Oh, this does reset when I leave. It's so cringe. But I think they made that, like, different now. They used to cling you for cleavage. Oh, that is, yeah, that's that's pretty bad. 
My understanding is it's a lot more loose and tolerant now. You guys would think Brenda would be a better streamer if he had some cute earrings. Do you even see the earrings? I have headphones on. Like, a big headset and, like, a bunch of hair. Also, I don't have, like... I would have to, like, pierce my ears. I mean, I guess there's, like, clip-ons or whatever, right? But I don't know. They say context is necessary. You can't be partially nude, so bikinis require hot tubs or pools or beaches to justify them. Yeah. Well, what is her... What is her content? You were there for five minutes. Is she, uh... 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 You know, being an intellectual. Oh, I see. I need to be able to swim in lava to do this. Yeah, because if I if I went back around in a circle, if I could, I, I could wouldn't have to leave the screen if I could go through the lava because I could go back up and around and grab it. I see. So I need the ice cape to, in order to do this. I think. Tape them on your ears. That sounds like it wouldn't hold for very long. Yeah, I need I need the ice cape for this. Seeing they're making faces, doing NPC doll crap, you reported her, if nothing comes of it, nothing comes of it. Really? I don't know. I'm pretty... I'm pretty, like, whatever on that stuff being on Twitch. I don't think it's, like, a problem. Probably needs to sand her OnlyFans. I mean, do you think it, like, hurts the website significantly? You, an intellectual, dies in lava. I will not even try it, weapons. I'm not try I'm gonna try jumping on there before I got the ice cape. NPC streaming not allowed? True, I mean, I hope not. I feel like I'm kind of an NPC streaming sometimes. When this stuff gets too plentiful, they make rules like no cleavage. Yeah, I, I, I guess it's true. I mean, they do that to, like, preserve ad revenue, to make it so that advertisers don't run away if the site gets too porny. But at the same time, like, I don't know, I, I kind of like when the advertisers run away. <laughs> Letter stream? I think so, but I don't know. Just noticed the empty kiddie pool tub in the left back uh, corner. It's not even filled with water. She's getting by on threadbare technicality. Yeah, well, good for her. That'll either work or, or it won't, and she'll make it out with a good bag of money, even if she gets bagged in like a couple months or whatever, right? Possessed through the figurine of prayer. Pray that the memory of this moment may remain. I don't have the figurine of prayer, unless by any chance that refers to the Jed, but I don't think it does. No. I've seen this several times before, and I don't think I have the item that I need for it yet. This is a trap. This is a trap. I'm not falling for it. This is a trap. I can see the pillar up there. I can see it. It's a trap. I'm not, I'm not gonna read that skeleton. So you being approved, it's just advertisers and they pay for your servers. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Amazon pays for the servers at a deficit in order for advertise Twitch Prime or Prime. To my understanding, that's the business model for Twitch is that Amazon runs it at a as a loss in order to like advertise Amazon services. But I don't know. What that skeleton needs me to read it for progress? For progress, you say? Here's the problem, right? I only access this area by a glitch. I glitched in here. I should have died trying to get over here. So, oh, hello. So I don't want to, like, die unnecessarily, and then I won't be able to get back here. What item and what thing? Well, it's some kind of figurine, apparently. I know that much, Avery. Also, hi, Tech. You're back? You're so exhausted today? Oh, yeah? Was it a busy day at work, Tech? A lot of Friday pizza coming out or something? I should really be reading more of my dad's journal. I haven't, I haven't read any of this shit. Um, wow, wait, I haven't read any of this shit. Should I be reading this? The more I procrastinate on reading this, the more the backlog is going to grow, and it's probably important. I've read this before, I know that. I just didn't save, apparently, because I must have died or something. So, a cooking, cooking with Brungo Phoenix Wright I think you clicked on the wrong redeem, but I think I think you clicked on the wrong redeem. Uh this unless what kind of what kind of meal is Phoenix right? You're confused by this Final Fantasy. Grim, you seem to always be confused by the Final Fantasies, I gotta say. 
eat him? I don't know how. I don't know how to do that. That sucks because I, I have to like delete the cooking redeem and re-enable it because I, to my knowledge, that's the only way to get around the uh, one week cooldown <laughs> that now got activated from it. You're a simple gremlin, indeed you are, Grim. I hope you're having a good day though. Almost two thousand dollars in sales after two and a half hours. God damn, that's like that's like like eighty pizzas or something. Two and a half hours. That is a lot. On the entrance to Egg Lana in the remnants of the Lama Lana ruins. No seem to be any particular traps or mechanisms of note. This may be thanks to the crystallization of the Mother's power we have in our position. The secret treasure of life. Secret treasure of life. Okay. So that's what lets you go through the things. That's what lets them go through the things, I mean. The layout of the Egg Lana ruins seems to be similar to that of Lama Lana, being split into several distinct areas. I've only just begun my investigation. I'll record what I've discovered and noticed so far. So I have no idea as to when nor how the Eglana ruins were built, but it seems as though its existence has been known and it was used as a kind of penal colony by the various races inhabiting the area throughout the generations. Those engaging in war among their own race were sent off to Eglana. Is there basically a way to say, if you can't stop fighting, then do it somewhere where with no one else around? To my utter surprise, there were still remnants of the various races that were thought to have died out completely. They may have been spared from destruction at the hands of the Mother due to the fact they remained inside Eglana, a copy of the Mother herself. It also seems as though they continue to fight much amongst each other to this day. Print him out and eat him? Seriously, you fucked him up putting in the game request? Sure, I'll put it in the game request, but, and then, um, if anybody else wants to redeem cooking with Brungo today, just do it as a game request. And then by tomorrow, I'll have it fixed to reset the cooldown. That's all I'll do. It has become apparent that Egg Lana is structured in the shape of a huge upside-down tree. For this reason, the inhabitants of Egg Lana refer to this place as Yggdrasil, meaning the World Tree. The center contains a large trunk-like area, and from there grow several other branch-like areas. The remnants of the previous races are shut inside those branching areas. However, it seems there is one race which is attempting to seize control of the Yggdrasil, known as the Lokapala. They are one of the races comprising the sixth children. They do not give the impression of being especially intellectually advanced, to put it generously, and seem to think of nothing other than take over Yggdrasil. Wow. I can't believe my dad would just call an entire race of people not intellectually advanced. It's kind of... kind of cringe. I would do fine if I die. Me? What do you mean? If I, I I would die if I ate the picture of Phoenix Wright properly. What about booking with Krungo? Krungo is not due to appear until the fourth season of the Brungo livestream, I'm sorry. This is going to be a later, uh, latter addition to the cast. Why are the races born from the six children still remain in Eglana? I heard this from one of the upper class nobles of the remnants of the six children. First off, the Lokopala with machinations to take over Yggdrasil. Their efforts to seize control of Yggdrasil have been focused around an area known as the Immortal Battlefield. That's where we are now. The races derived from the Six Children, which were sent to Eglana for their inability to stop fighting and killing, were the Aesir and the Vanir. Okay. The Aesir have sealed the Vanir completely in an area known as the Divine Fortress. I've been there. The Vanir are an apocalyptic race who pray for world destruction. In preparation for their long-awaited day of destruction, the Vanir have been accumulating some kind of powerful force known as the Cataclysm. It is said that long ago, they've had the ability to create huge weapons of terrible destructive power, capable of burning up the entire surface of the Earth. Never give up on your dreams, Vanir. Uh huh. It was the Alfir who brought forth the seventh children, who saw the Mother's Year existence as a threat, thus embarking on plans to steal her away. Now, only a handful of them remain in an area known as Anwufin. Been there, the fairy world. Seems they were originally a race that had further split apart from the Lokapala, and have since been fighting against their former brothers. In order to seal the mother away, their leader, the Fairy Queen, escaped from Eglana to Lamalana, she began working together with the Seventh Children on her plan to seal away the mother. Right. Oh god, okay. We're getting the lore, we're getting the lore. You saw Krungo twerk once, you're still in therapy for it? Really? Why, was it like too much for you? Was Krunko's fatty dumper just like too much for you to handle? The eighth children, me specifically, were able to figure out what was about to happen through various clues throughout the ruins of La Mulana, and who was able to finally succeed in sealing the mother away. 
after all those years of work, uh, finally having led to success, you can imagine the utter frustration and dismay experienced when finding this copy of the mother known as Eglana. I wonder if the fairy, mother, fairy queen and her followers were able to predict that the sealing of the mother would cause Eglana to change. Oh, and there's also a tribe of beings who share the fairy name, too. They're very small and have wings similar to those of an insect. They could be considered the origin of what we know as fairies. Okay, second children. Those are the giants. Those are the giants. Second children are said to have lived in the shrine of the frost giants. We've been there already. It's written in surviving texts that these second children were wiped out throughout civil war in the ruins of La Milana. It wasn't the giants who were in the shrine of the frost giants, but a number of the Locopala. Curious that none of the second children remain in Eglana either. Civil War among the second children was caused by the nine siblings who held power at the time. I remember these guys. Detailed information on the siblings can be found accompanying some very nice stone statues found in the moons of La Milana, now a tourist spot. Possibly due to the fact that they were indeed giants, this race turned out to provide an excellent workforce. It's said that among all the various races born from the mother of the centuries, it was they who came closest to achieving the final goal of returning mother to space. Yes, yes, yes. So our opinions divided, continue trying to return the mother to space or resign themselves to the fact that mother would remain here on Earth. Nine siblings split into two opposing factions, leading to war. It was the youngest brother, Sackett, who ultimately wiped out both sides of the conflict. Nothing is known about Sackett's motives or intentions. Okay. We're done. We can play the video game. Oh! I almost fell in the lava. I would have been uh, mildly upset. Opinion have her on GTA, you know I hate those kinds of games, so what's the Brungo thing? I have never played a GTA, and ha look, having looked at the trailer, my opinion is like... Uh, well, I'm definitely disinterested. Like, I don't really understand... I don't know, it, it just looks like something that you play as like a kid, when the idea of like, you know, boobies and... God damn it. Boobies and like running over hookers with a car is like entertainment you know what i mean i mean not not as like a diss you know i'm not trying I'm not god damn it i'm not trying to be like a pretentious or anything about it it just doesn't quite seem like something that i would want to dedicate so much time to personally so i'm not excited at all but i did watch the trailer and there was a lot of twerking in it now I'm equipped to solve so many puzzles, so I'm going to solve all the puzzles. Yes. Oh, this says, okay, this says explicitly what I also gathered before, that I have to beat Nidhogg in order to get to the, uh, whatchamacallit, in order to get to the wall cling. So I've already, I already got hints that basically told me that. That spells it out precisely. I wonder if I'm equipped enough to beat Nidhogg yet. I've tried, like, before when I tried. I wasn't even close. I was not nearly strong enough. Like, I kicked my ass. I don't want to play a booby theft auto. I mean, it's an open world game, right? So I'm already skeptical. I can't make this jump, can I? Hold on. You know what I have not tried? I've not tried jumping out of uh, the Gale Fibula dash. Oh, I can do it. It works. No, no, no. Oh, okay. What? That! That is not okay, game. Did you see that? Ugh. Made it? It bounced me all the way back. What is that? What is the point of this thing, man? What is the point of this Gale Fibula? Also, chance to play GTA Vice City XD. Yo, good luck, Newman. I mean, that's a, it's, a good, it's a good redeem, you know, because it is a very popular game that I have not played. Which is, after all... Okay, there's no way out of here. Cool. Cool. Which is, after all, the point of... Said redemption. Vice City's probably the best one. Okay. Which one is it? Is that like four? Is that five? Is that... Which one's Vice City? Number-wise. Gaming! What's up, Flammable? How are you doing? Rungi's Bounce. I don't know how Brungies I was about that bounce. I was anti Brungies. You're glad you can visit a version of Florida where you can't die. Yeah. Well, I don't know. You're probably going to die. I imagine you end up dying quite a bit in the video game. Just 
due to it being a video game. Fourth game, not GTA 4, it's Vice City. Vice City is 3.5. Okay, interesting. It, what? Can I play it on PC? Do I have to like emulate something to play that? I don't know how that works. You could throw in a Taylor's Principle 2 playthrough again? I don't think so. I think the rules check are that you have to put a game in that I haven't played before. Brung go happy. We have a Brung happy, but it's when I'm sad. It's native to PC? Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I got confused. I, I mean, I got lost. What am I trying to do? I'm kind of overwhelmed by options. Should I... Uh, I kind of want to give Nidhogg a try in my current state and see if I can do significant damage or slash not instantly die. I feel like I need several more power-ups before I have a decent chance, but whatever. Yeah, that's not right. Start playing PoE again. You fear your backlog. Is there a league going on right now? Don't most people just play PoE for the league? That's my understanding of it. My god, are you kidding me? I got hit by the Pikachu. Okay. Okay. Fuck. That's... That's... Oh, oh, that's really annoying. Okay, so when he knocks, when he knocks me out like that, oh, oh, that, mantra, mantra, what does it do? What did I get? Which one did I get? Able to get your hands on Mantra thanks to your app, but there's a bit of a problem. You can use the Mantra app to record mantras like the ones in the Lama Lana Ruins. You need a relic called the Jed Pillar to use a Mantra. Once you acquire the Jed Pillar, you're finding able to... Yes, I have it. I have it. I have it. Um, add Mantras from the Mantra app tab. I don't have one. Wait, is that... So this isn't actually a Mantra? This is just the ability to get Mantras? I'm confused. Already acquired. Huh? Must equip the software. Oh, I don't have the software. <laughs> oh, no. What? Wait, I do. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, I see. Okay, so I don't have... I don't have any mantras. Huh. New league, most times one league leads to the next, so there is much downtime. Took a break, kind of enjoying it again. That's very cool, Grim. RuneScape's having its first league in two years as well, but I am skipping it. I'm not doing it this year. What? I. Okay. I want to be able. To, I can make. Can I make this jump? It'd be so much easier if I could make this jump. Antra is a major software. Yeah. Hold on. Fuck, I don't actually know where to get mantras from. <laughs> That's the annoying... I guess I have to look for more murals, probably. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whatever. When you need mantras to mantra... I'm just kind of upset that I getting the ability to mantra didn't actually give me a mantra. Like, they don't even give me a starter mantra. Okay, I'm already half health before I even get to fucking Nidhogg now, so... Let's just heal again. I want to give this Nidhogg fight, like, one real try. Other than that, I guess, I don't know, I'll, I'll dick around in Immortal Battlefield a lot more, probably. It, it still looks like I'm not supposed to be in Immortal Battlefield yet. If anything, I feel like I'm... Well, I have no idea. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be. Apparently I did stuff out of order and like, oh my fucking... Apparently I did stuff out of order and uh, Valhalla was supposed to be the second place that you go to and then the uh, other one is the third. The one that I did second was supposed to be the third on within. 
Alcohol taking over drifts into a void. A void. What kind of what, what what kind of stuff are you drinking? That gives you void powers. God. For the record, there is second. I know there is no technically in order, but there's definitely a a more common order. Oh, that double hit me, and it. Okay, wow. Okay, never mind. We are not prepared to fight a Nidhogg at all. Not even remotely. So we need to go anywhere else. Anywhere else. Okay. Um, I wish I knew where... I, I wonder if I've seen more mantras than this already. I probably have somewhere. Somewhere I've seen an additional mantra. I could go to spoiler deleted. Long explanation, alcoholing you do a dance. A dance. How romantic. Um Yeah, I need the right so I need to do a mantra in front of these things. But I don't have the right mantra. I have no mantras, so nothing happens here yet. So where else could I possibly go? Well, I mean, there's lots of places I could possibly go. I think I'm going to mess around in a mortal battlefield. Easy to set your stomach, go hard at first and slow down. Might be the easiest TLDR. I see. Yeah, I... What? Dude, I wish I could remember. Somewhere I had a text that I read that said something about a waterfall, or about water falling, like activating a waterfall or whatever. And I did that yesterday. I made this water start to fall. But I don't think I actually wrote that one down, um, which is annoying, because I wish I knew what it said. Um, let's see, what else have I used in here? Hmm. Oh no. You sip alcohol, you'll puke, you go for a strong buzz at first, then... God. Ride it down to neutral. Interesting. <laughs> so just kind of a constant flow, a constant state. I read this. Yes, this is telling me... Fire the power to withstand both hot and cold. This is telling me that wall cling is over there, but I already know wall cling is over there. That's after I beat Nidhogg, and that seems to be off the table at the moment. Where does this go? Ship is known as the Spiral Boat. Seals protect the spiral of life and the spiral of hell. Two sigils hidden by falling water. That's what it was. I think that's what it was. Something mentioned two sigils behind like a water falling water or whatever. One of them seals the spiral boat. Two si okay, wait. So if I can get access to two new sigils in here, that would be huge. I triggered you launching La Moana too. Oh, I'm sorry. I would have had a trigger warning. My god. Oh my god. Why do these guys have guns? Stop. Stop! Stop gunning me! I'm alive. Oh my god. Yo, Jackie. Nice parody change. Welcome in. How are you doing? How was stream? Got the king's ring and then ended. Okay, that seems like a nice place to end. How did you like the king? Was the king worth all the build-up? <laughs> you when you're hidden by falling water? Are you a sigil butt? Would you describe yourself as a sigil? Path leading outside, however, it leads to a fall off a precipice so that none may escape. Um, I don't know if I need to save that, but I'm going to. By the way, whistled. I did get whistled. Little orange guys walk around like Omega Dance. The orange guys are super cute. There's a lot of cute enemies in this game that I didn't notice in the first game. Zombie with a sword, the king. Thought about killing him for a sword, but you let him live. Yeah, didn't you see his big crown? Uh, 
Um, you know what? Why am I just... Why am I sitting here on 1 HP? This is dumb. Didn't see a crown? Oh, okay. Yeah. It's dark as hell. Bruh. Somebody didn't do the slider at the start of the game where it's like, adjust your brightness. Blah, 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 blah. I actually don't know if Dark Souls 2 has one of those. I feel like every modern game has one of those. And I find them... Goofy. Yeah, fix your monitor. Oh, oh, this is the wrong one. Yeah, that could also be it. Bam. Try this way instead, I guess. Instead of falling all the way down. Oh, a hot spring. Oh, word. Oh, hey. It's kind of sick. Soak in the water for your body will be healed. Don't mind if I do. Okay, we have hot spring access. Wait, no we don't. You... Okay, <sighs> hey, we don't have hot spring access. There's a hot spring you can relax and regain your health. You can pay a 30G donation to enter. What, for a one-time use? Yo, fuck off. What does this guy need gold for? He lives in an apocalyptic, eternal hellscape of constant warfare. Your monitor brightness is also maxed. Even on brightness setting, you can see the other one it mentioned. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, you, uh, <laughs> I think... Uh, okay, yeah, that sounds like your monitor's just straight up broken. Scholar turns the dark spots way darker compared to the original release. We're trying to encourage more torch use. And yet, I still, like, never use torches. I'm pretty sure I just never did that, like, ever. Oh! Okay. Damn, this just goes here. Hmm. Pay you... Pay me, biatch! I refuse, old man. I will not be, uh... I will not succumb to your... What's the word? Gou gouging. Price gouging. Why does this squid have 5 bazillion HP? What the fuck is this? That squid is literally immortal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. What the fuck? Okay. That's insane. What a shame. Please leave. You trust him? The, the old man who uh, wants 30 gold? For me to sit in his hot spring? Yeah, I don't trust him. Oh my fucking god. Hey, can I put this down here? No. Needs to be some way to drain the water then, I assume. Unless I can just Earth Spear that. There are two sigils that are hidden by falling water. Check the back of the three-eyed waterfall. This is huge. This is very important. Can you answer me this question? What is the name of the main character in La Mulana 2? Hey, Bingo King Real. Uh, uh, it's La Mulana. It's like, it's like a Lamisa with an S or something. No, I think Lamisa is the dad's name, and then I forget what the girl's name is, but it's something else starting with an S. Also, goodbye, Jackie. Enjoy watching Trihex's Oot gameplay. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you had fun today. Lumisa. There we go. That's close enough, right? Now you're the first orange name proper. Wait, what do you mean by that? Oh, because I killed the other orange guy? What are these 10 tickets for Sinks and the Cursed Mummy? Those are mostly Junes. Mostly Junes. Yeah, the main character's name, the character that I'm playing as. Whoa, close enough. Okay, Bingo. Thank you so much for the thousand bits. I don't know if uh, I don't know if a half-ass answer like that is is quite getting it right. But you know, I'm not going to complain. That's very generous of you. Thank you very much for that. I oh god, I, I do not know enough of the. I I do not like what's the word imprint enough of the lore of La Milana to really like you know trivia questions about it. The main character is Zelfid. 
I don't know, main characters usually have to like struggle, don't they? In stories. Zelpa just kind of lazes around and gets all the ladies. So I feel like without this... Oh, what is this? I feel like without the struggle, you can't really be the main character. What is going on? What is that? What is that? I like the game? I do like the game. I do? I Well, yeah. I played the first one mm, around a year ago. And uh, now I'm getting on the, it's getting started on the sequel. Your character hasn't struggled so far in DS2? Really? And why are you complaining so much? That's enough for you? Thank you. Thank you very much. I thought you meant who has main character syndrome? No, that's true. Zelpa does have main character syndrome. I'm a La Milana genius. Ah, uh, don't, uh, don't put that to the test, bud. Those who possess Mjolnir can harness the power of storms. Lightning that strikes them will be theirs to wield. Simply need to raise the hammer, bring the thunder's hammer might to bear upon the pillar it resembles. Okay, right, well, I don't have that yet. I think you slipped Brungo the name yesterday because he reacted to it like it was just learning after I said it. Yeah, no, you, you totally did. That's absolutely right, Smee, but you deserve those $10, not gonna lie. Also, chance to play Diablo 1. Good luck, Graham. I would not mind whatsoever if your Diablo 1 wins. Nerd game? Big nerd game. I am king of the underworld, but Io, I have been cast out of my own underworld. The land... Oh, sorry, but lo. Not Io, but lo. I have been cast out of my own underworld, the land beneath Yggdrasil. There reside several underworld rulers, one for each race. It is now controlled by the woman called Hell, the one who cast me out. O oh, tempora. What, like the squid food? O oh, moors. This guy seems cool. Do you have anything else to say to me? O oh, tempura. Yeah, that's what... Is tempura squid? Is that the right reference that I was trying to make? Character might be in the listings I've collected so far. Do I have my own listing? No, I don't have my I don't have my own listing. Battered and fried vegetables. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I can't get here. I tried that before. All right, which would be very nice if I could uh, do that. Okay, so top priority is going to be finding the three-eyed waterfall. I was just down here. The Three-Eyed Waterfall, hidden behind the Three-Eyed Waterfall. Well, we have two waterfalls here. I don't know if one of them particularly has more eyes than the other. Rungo, found a death you never- you found a death you never got? Okay, I thought so, I just wanted to check. How did you die, Tech, or would it be a spoiler? Maybe it's shrimp too, battered and fried anything. Seems reasonable. Oh my god, is that a nine? Is that a nine guardian gate in the middle over there? Veggies and seafoods? Okay, so I was sort of right by calling it squid. I think that's a, that boat, wait, that's one of the boats. That's one of the, that's the boat that the uh, other tablet was talking about. And it's got a gate on it that requires all nine guardians. So that's gotta be like the end of the game we go there or something. Do I know the elevator in guidance? No. Wait, yes. Yes, I do. Play the first, so you can name the item that lets you live underwater. Oh, I just got the item in this game yesterday. It is the, uh... Scale Sphere. The sc Scale Sphere? Scale Sphere? Let me check. This doesn't count. Scale Sphere! There you go. Again, I got that, like, yesterday in this game, so I don't know if that really counts as my knowledge from the first game. I would have forgotten otherwise. I'd better get to killing those guardians. Listen, I'm trying. Oh, god damn it. I swear I'm trying. We're holding up and right, and the elevator door closed on your head. Uh-oh. And, and that killed you? They really have to have better safety in those elevators. Lokapala's secret altar, an altar to the great god Indra, who wishes for the onset of the time of destruction. 
Only those bearing the image of the Lokapala's protective deity will be permitted into the Divine Fold. Okay, I don't have that, I, I think. And that's to get into here, probably, right? Yeah, this is the Altar Gate. This takes me back up, I think. So before I go over there, I want to double check what's over here. This looks like a mini boss room. This looks like I'm gonna have to do a fight. No, hey, it's the squirrel again. Catalyze the stoppered flow of time at the pit of time. An ancient machine will duly deliver you to the altar of time. Yo, thank you again for the other thousand bits, bingo. Love people pronouncing it, so here you go. We ignore the cheating. Thank you. Yes, that's the that's all I need from life is for people to ignore my cheating. That's that's very generous once again. Thank you, thank you. Scale sphere. I'll pronounce it two more times for you. Scale sphere, scale sphere. Make sure all limbs are in the elevator before the door closes. Yeah, might be a good idea. Do I have to leave? Is this score? Oh, whoa. That squirrel got a lot scarier since the last time I fought him. I'm not gonna lie. That squirrel was uh, not nearly that terrifying before. Oh, okay. Redothosk is so bad. Uh, he seems good enough to beat me. He has the zoomies. Yeah, let's call it that. Oh. Oh, I haven't been in here this, through this way before. Uh, this is to recharge my time thing that I don't have. That's an infinite spawn. That's the boat that I can't make act. Oh, I can't come from this direction. Okay, nothing else to do here. Oh. If you keep your eyes open, you don't spin. <laughs> Brungo for the win. Uh... Yeah, let's go with that. Let's say that I am preventing your eyes from spinning. Two sigils hidden by falling water. Check the back of the three-eyed waterfall. Dude, I need the three-eyed waterfall. You are the most beautiful woman in the galaxy. Yo, thank you for the follow, bingo. It means a lot. It really does. I hope you're enjoying. La Milana 2. Alpha or Sirius is Prophecy Part 2. I found Part 1 and Part 3. Sound fills the air, Heimdall blows his horn. Yggdrasil shakes, a screech winds from towering ancient tree. The Jotun are unleashed, Heimdall does not sleep, and keeps a vigilant watch even through the night as the end encroaches. I don't like the sound. I really hope I don't need to be like following this prophecy that closely. This could also be a fight in this room. Apparently not. Okay. Oh god, okay. I aggroed that thing. Okay. I'm not seem to be doing any damage to that. Oh. Oh! Oh! Oh, gaming! Okay. This is the Immortal Battlefield. Okay, Immortal Battlefield has two different... So, Immortal Battlefield is like the twin corridors, or whatever it's called twin whatever equivalent from the first game where it's like two areas smushed together and so it's got two different teleports to it so this is probably the yeah so this is the light this is the dark side teleport for immortal battlefield twin labyrinths that's the word i'm looking for yeah okay interesting i wanted to see what else is over there what is the I also want to know what the deal is with that raising. Oh, well... I should go after it, surely, is what I should do. Yolnir. Focus on the blue and balance will remain true. I don't know, I can be somewhat unbalanced sometimes, even when I'm, uh... Oh! Hello? Even when I'm... Blue. What a big mural. There is something like this in Lava Lana 2. There is a guardian sealed in here. 
Oh, yeah, it was what's his face? The seventh one in like death place. I needed the ship to fight him. I forgot his name, but I remember that. What's this holding in its right hand some kind of controller? No, maybe it's a key for working the vehicle. Okay. That's probably kind of late game ish. I just don't suppose I could scan it, right? No. Oh. Um. Then this is probably. This chest is probably the reward for beating him. So this is the guardian room. Actually, I can see what it's called Jormungand. Okay. Jormungand is the guardian for this. Um, interesting. I can't get back up there anymore now that I've activated this. Wasn't I able to before? Whatever. That boss is so annoying. The one from Lamalana 1 or Jormungand right there is so annoying. Either way, I can wholeheartedly believe that a boss in these video games might be annoying. Take my pick. Oh, fuck. I didn't want to come here. Yeah, I guess they're just kind of all annoying. Um. On. Go away. Go away. Nope. Nope. Not that far. Whatever. Um, I don't think I can get to this bottom layer until I... I must have to... What was that? Yo, bingo, thank you so much for the Prime. Wow, the, uh, the immediate follow into the Prime. That's, that's very much appreciated. I enjoy the Bezos bucks, the Bezos bread. When not ask questions, I said I love both games, so take this. Thank you. It's true. I, I, I have a... I mean... Sometimes it feels like the games do not love me, but you know, I try to be, uh, I, I try my best to enjoy these games, and I really do in the long run, overall. Jormungand's easier to pronounce than Anwifen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's true, it is. This one is like Norse, which is Germanic, and so is English, and one is like Welsh, question mark, which is not Germanic. So, there you go. Alright, this... Okay, this is where the squirrel is. This takes me up here. Oh, hello. Damn. I was hoping it might just straight up open the chest, but it would be too easy, I guess. I haven't... Don't think I've been to any of these rooms. Oh, wait, no. Oh, okay, this is... Ah, okay, this is this room from way back when. A lot of people play your favorite franchise, so you will do your part to support everyone. Hey, thank you, Bingo. Yeah, I, I mean, I'll be playing it for the next two weeks or however long it takes me to beat it. Absolutely, Tash. I hear the weather there is wonderful. So, hey, Arvid. What's up, Brungo Nation? Oh, you know, we're just doing our national anthem. Run like the wind, let your feet carry you. Uh, okay. I will do that. I don't know where to, but I'll do it. It doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know where I'm supposed to run like the wind. Maybe here? You've been encouraging me to play this? I mean, not like actively. I'm doing it because I, I'm playing this now mostly because it's like the one year anniversary of me playing the first game. You know? Well, not really the one year anniversary, but it's been roughly a year. I hope your day was well, by the way, Arvid. I hope your Friday was uh, Friday tastic. I'm gonna go up there. I need to run into place. I do. I wonder if I need that sigil first. Oh no, because I can't even access that sigil. Am I not just starting from far enough? Maybe I'm not starting from far enough back. Maybe I need more speed. No. Weird. Okay. 
There's an establishment that trades in live fairies. Those who can win its favor may be able to buy the fairies their freedom. I do need to buy... Oh, speaking of fairies, there's one of the fairies. I do need to buy the fairies their freedom. I do need to do that. It's pretty Friday-tastic. Made two pizzas? What the hell, Arvid? I made just my regular tofu. I only have the healing fairy unlocked. Made peanut butter tofu. The normal Brungtastic. Oh! I see. I, this is why I need to run like the wind. I see those pillars. No, I, I pressed jump! I pressed jump, man! I. Stop running! Okay. Let me try that again. That was the right idea, I just didn't actually press jump well enough. Hmm. What was on your pizza, Zarvid? I must know. This is critical knowledge. Sure, I pressed jump and didn't look at it. I would go so far, Smeebit, as to say that I pressed the button. I know that can be kind of controversial to say around here. Arvid, don't want to think about pizzas right now. Oh yeah, sorry. Tech, tech has made like 80 pizzas today. Uh, okay. What did I get for doing that? One was a white pizza with cotton and chicken, the other was pepperoni, banana peppers, onions, and sausage. Oh, those both sound absolutely fucking delicious, I gotta say. I'm still hungry. My dinner wasn't huge. I think I'm at a calorie deficit. I'm definitely gonna have to have a fourth meal after stream. Okay, I think I just got scammed. <laughs> I think the tablet scammed me. Alright. Uh... Yeah, unless... No. No, I just... Uh... Anything to hit? No. No. Okay, well... That's okay. That's alright. Secret Friday stream? Yo, I know, it's so rare, Koro, for me to stream on a Friday. An absolutely uh, rare sighting, but it does happen sometimes, believe it or not. How are you doing? Try all the things in my new little cage. Mwahaha. I, jeez, Avery. I will not be doing any cage-related activities on Twitch. I think it's against TOS. Yeah, I know that already. So what's the deal with the... Which waterfall has three eyes? What does that mean? It just goes over to the other side. You watch a Smosh live show? Wait, what the hell? Smosh is alive? The Smosh people live? I don't believe it. That sounds fake. How could it be? Who is in here again? Um, yeah, okay, whatever. Cage fight mini came up next. Oh, yeah. I, I, I kind of doubt there's going to be much cage fighting in La Milana. But, you know, the game could surprise me. So I thought one of these two waterfalls would be the waterfall in question, but I don't see any sigils, and I don't see anything that would indicate that they have three eyes. Not with that attitude, there won't be. True. Be the cage fighting you want to see in the world. That's what Gandhi always said. So I can take these all the way down. But do I want to? I don't think I do. And I'll try again, I guess. I've been up here, right? Yeah, this is this room. I've talked to this lady, I forget, or person, I forget what they said. Nibiru! Yeah, okay. Whatever. I've read that. 
You presented your last paper. I take by your smiley emoji that it went well and that you are satisfied with your end of the year performance. There is like a picture that goes along with this message. I'm the gate of the dead, but I doesn't I don't recognize the place that it's mentioning in there. That picture makes so much sense. It does, doesn't it? It's a very sensical picture. Is this a boss room? Oh! Svibdikir! My friend! Svibdikir! He kind of sucks. Nope! Oh my god! Nope! Okay. Yeah, he kind of sucked. Okay, we're good. You beat him. Wait, that's really important. I gotta save. <laughs> I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to risk maybe dying trying that a second time. Picture makes sense after you find it. That tends to be the case with a lot of the clues in La Milana. To be fair, it's just a pretty La Milana type thing to happen, just for things to make sense afterwards. Okay. Uh, this one. What was your final paper about, Goro? And how are you celebrating? So, Moldwork isn't here right now, right? I sent her off to go explore. Oh, never mind. She's she's EP. I don't want to read that out loud. That's a very creepy message. I'm just going to pretend that the game did not write that. When did I last save? Last hard save? Uh... I don't know, a, a while ago. Did I just, oh, I just overrode something I didn't want to. Fuck, whatever. Update the spreadsheet, Brungi. But right now? I'm pretty sure it was like up to date as of today, except for like maybe two or three tickets or something, right? It was pretty close. Is there anything else in this room? I wonder why this room is so big. Oh, what's the th what's the deal with the red eyes again? Oh shit! I had a thing that explained to me what the what the red eyes did, as opposed to the blue eyes, and then I forget. That's not good. I hope I don't need to know. It'll take thirty seconds. I mean, yeah, but oh, are you shitting me? <laughs> it will take thirty seconds, but. Why would I do it right now? I mean... Find all streams lag at auto quality on your Apple TV? That's annoying. Can you... On Apple TV, can you, like, adjust the quality settings? Or does it just not even allow it? There's got to be a way to do... Oh, I need the stupid sigil. There's a sigil at play here, isn't there? Oh my god. Interesting. You don't even need this in order to make it through. I wonder why there's that gap underneath. Mm, this is annoying. I need I need the sigil probably to open this up in order to get through here. That's a shame. You can't adjust the settings? Okay, well, at least that's an option. Hopefully Koro can get that to work out somehow. Hmm. I think I'm close to giving up on a mortal bastion for now. I feel like all my progress here is gated by sigils that I don't have at the moment. Koro! Hey! Boro, but Boro. It's the heartfelt reunion that we all needed this summer. Oh, what the fuck? Did I not see this before? I don't think I did see this before. Oh my God. What? No! 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 no. Okay, 
Let's uh, let's not do that. God damn it. No! 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 There. Remember, if you've ever found yourself falling into lava, just teleport out within like ten seconds. You'll be fine. It's called the ten second rule. Another Bob shirt? You do in your easies. I can't believe you do your clue scrolls from mining. That's just like insane to me. Like, I don't know. I, I, I ended up dropping most of my elites from Zolro without even like looking at them. <laughs> I mean, I did a few, but. You mine for 200 hours, you gotta break it up. I guess that's fair. Just la move lava. La move lava? Is that like la move over? Is that what you're going for? There's a sign you saw in Boulder that said, in case of flooding, climb to safety. It leaves you wondering what else would you do? Sink and die, I guess. Which I agree. Doesn't seem as nice of an option to me. Fine, I'll do it again. I'll do it again, that's okay. The clock is ticking? For what? What is the clock ticking for? Swim, blue guy, swim. If you have your scale sphere, then you can swim forever. You know? That's what I would do. I would simply obtain the scale sphere. Would I rather have a gap in my front teeth or a cleft lip? By a gap in my front teeth, do you mean like uh, like a, a missing tooth, June? Or do you just mean like, just like a little gap between like literally your front two teeth aren't together all the way? Yeah, I mean, I have, I my, 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 my front teeth do have a gap. Like a, a little one, it's not like big, but it's a little, a little one. And I don't know, I think it's charming. I think it's endearing. Oh, I think it's cute. Okay, make it bigger. Uh, that's not what my dentist wants to make it go away. My dentist keeps trying to sell Invisalign to me to make it the gap go away. I'll find out in due time. Can't say at the moment, but who knows? Yeah, who knows? Ice fire treetop. Wait. Oh shit. Isn't this the place? This is like the place. Isn't it? Where... This is the place that defeating Nidhogg was supposed to get me to as well. I think. I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. How do I get that? How do I get the, the chest? I think I'm supposed to have my lava cape already before coming here. Hmm. Okay, whatever. I give up. Got here without cheating? Yeah, but I mean... You can get to places before you can actually do anything significant at them in this game, right? Dentists are teeth bigots, you like the gap? I agree. Make it bigger like when Moses split the Red Sea. Yes, I agree, my- Oh, what?! Hey, that's a really, really interesting thing to do to me, game. That's a really cool thing to do. You know how to get that chest? I, I I figured that you would know, Tech. Are we certain I didn't cheat? I cheated once, but I didn't get anything from it. Well, I didn't cheat. I, I, I glitched and didn't die when I was supposed to die. I hear all those accounts of dentists shaving down canine teeth without asking. No, I didn't hear about that, Smeebit. Is that like real? Or is that like a TikTok panic wave? You know, I'm TikTok panic, you know? 
I had not heard about it. I don't think my dentist is doing any of that. You mean like when they have you under on like anesthetized or just for a regular uh, checkup? Don't ask questions, believe. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, my bad. That's I, I am outraged, me, but I can't believe that they're doing that. This is shaking my faith in the uh, dentistry as an institution. Welcome to Ma La Mulana. Dentists are terrorists? They're un-American? I'm pretty sure dentists are un-British. Bunch of canine bigots. As a cat lover, I'm a bit of a canine bigot myself. No! God, no! <laughs> okay, fine, fine. We'll just take it on the next cycle, I guess. Okay. Okay, let's try it again. Are you kidding me? I literally can't... If you... Is there at least something good on this pillar? Oh, there is- oh! Oh, there's a hundred coins in- okay, well, I, okay, you know what? I'm not mad anymore. I'm glad to have done that at least once, because getting that pillar is worth it. Now, if I do it again, by accident, then I'm gonna be mad. Brungie's too short. I don't- aren't you only supposed to use Brungie's when I'm happy? Isn't that the initial usage of Brungie's? Pot? What about pot? Oh my god. Are you a fan of pot tech? Are you a pothead? Any potheads in chat? I'm gonna get... Bro, I'm gonna get screwed over by these bats, I can already tell you. This is so dumb. <laughs> okay, there we go. You rang. What's up, Arvid? Arvid the Pothead. That's what he was known as in high school. It does come from TikTok. Some girls saying it happened to her recently, and then everyone in the comments were saying it happened to them. I don't know. This seems like one step removed from the, like, dentist implant you with, like, secret government tracking things. You know what I mean? Feel the burn, mofos. People lie on TikTok for clout. Couldn't be me. Should I should I should I start doing that like for a living? Should I start becoming a TikTok um what's the word? Crisis actor? That's not really the right word, but similar concept. Cannot read slash thanks slash exist, and you need to do those things these days. Well you won't need to soon, right? Because it is almost Christmas. And then you won't need to think ever again. Okay. okay, that doesn't deal damage to me, apparently. That's nice. I'm your favorite influencer. What do I influence you to do? Rama asked Atum, what is creation? Atum answered by assuming the form of a green snake before leaving for battle. Creation is fighting to protect. Huh, the first child wrote this. A first child wrote this. I influenced you to game? Well, that's that's awesome, actually. I'm very glad to have influenced you to do that. Wait, what's up with that? That uh, that tablet is has a different sprite from the other ones. Spend the entirety of your break blasted every hour of every day. Is that what I inspired you to do? I influenced you to do? I don't know if I... quite want to claim... Ownership for that one. I need to be good at lying. Aren't I good at lying? This little guy's gonna kill me. I really would rather not be killed if it was up to me. 
Oh, Alpha's Pharmacy Part 5. Okay, we skip Part 4. The sun has no idea of the power it has. The moon has no idea that it has power at all. Dazzling stars remain. Smoke and flame rage. Frame, flames frolic in the heavens for the mighty have vanished. For its true form cannot be seen by starlight alone. That sounds like it might actually be a puzzle clue, which terrifies me because I have not been writing all those things down. You are op oh, you're operating the any potheads question. Okay, my bad. I inspire you to do Zolra? Oh no. I don't think I want to own that one either, honestly. I hate this little angel of death. What? Fuck me. Need a jump first. Jump first. Okay. Mu Shu Wu is her name. Her name is Mu Shu Wu. Okay. Garm. His guy's name was Garm. Oh, what? Oh my god. Why is it- Why? Why is it do- Why is it hurt so bad? Why is it hurt so bad? Mu Uwo? Yeah, that's exactly- That's that's it. It is. It's literally an Uwu. Okay. Alright, we're good. Who's here? Welcome. I don't know if anything impressive, but it's 1500. That's the Anga Musica app. No, don't buy this. Dude, well, I can't. Man. What, is that just the ability to have like a playlist? Is that all that is? It may hurt because I came here early. I do see, I, this definitely doesn't seem to be like, I'm supposed to be here yet. By my estimation. And spell Bwango without Wobble Woo. Woo Woo. It's true, you can't. Hey, I don't have the money, but I can't. Ah! Okay, fuck that. I'm out of here. I can't pay with money I don't have. I didn't come here so early. It's true, you could probably go here whenever. I get, I know, I get you, I get you. I'm just saying, these guys seem rough. I, I really wish I had some health. Or some more max health. Right now, I have, like, no direction. I really want to, I, like, the only clear path that I sort of have is, like, if I could beat Nidhogg. But even then, not really. I need to find sigils is what I need to find. And I have the hint that there's sigils behind a three-eyed waterfall. Beat who? Nidhogg. You know the streamer? Uh, I need to beat him in a fight for clout. I could go try to fight that squirrel again. The squirrel kicked my ass. But I only really I didn't really try it very hard. I kind of forgot. I died to the squirrel and they didn't come back. I should go try to kill the squirrel. I bet I could do I bet I could do that. I bet I could kill a squirrel. Dude, look at this little ch orange chicken thing. A three-eyed waterfall. I haven't a clue. Tell the squirrel he stinks. You bet I can too. You don't know if I can. But beat him or tell him he stinks? I don't think I can tell him to stinks. I don't think that's an option. This is giving me a hint about the uh, um, time stoppage thing. Oh my god. Okay, right. I need to avoid that attack. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Huh. Well, I didn't hit him once. <laughs> His dash attack seems... 
avoidable if I can figure out the cues for when it's coming. My problem is getting close enough to him to actually deal damage looks hard. Moo Shu Wu coming to get me, ooh woo. Moo Shu Wu, ooh woo. What am I why am I going this way for? Maybe Nidog is definitely not easier. No, not in the slightest. I went to Nidog. That thing kicks my ass. Oops. Fuck. That was... Wait, that was perfect. No, wait. Come up here again. Wait, yeah. Jump up here again. Stop. Don't do that. Stop doing that. Jump up here. Come on. Wait a minute. God damn it. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. 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 That's Crystal Skull number two. I still don't know what to do with these things, I'll be honest. Cheese now isn't the point of the game that you can do it in any in, in any way you want. A win is a win. Honestly, I feel good. I'm actually using the mechanics of the game instead of just bouncing around and taking an hour dying to things. Everything works out in the end, yes. Now, if only I could cheese Nidhogg like that. Maybe there is a way to do it, I just haven't found it yet. Catalyze the stoppered flow of time with the pit of time, an ancient machine will duly deliver you to the altar of time. Catalyze the stoppered flow of time with the pit of time. I have no fucking clue what that means. There is a gear-shaped hollow in the machine-like object. Okay, I need some something gear-like. Some kind of a gear thing. A unique ancient epitaph. Words of Mumu. On our ship Nibiru rests the Master Skull. Our great will shall be given to the bringer of the awakening, a will too great to be contained in such a puny, dumb body. Ye who hath gathered all twelve skulls carry on our will. So do the skulls not do anything until I have twelve of them? Is that the idea? That'd suck. Left me... Your motto in Discord to enjoy? Let me see. What is your motto? Sweet dreams are made of cheese. It's true. In this case, the cheese was quite sweet. For me. This is... Oh, this is the Pit of Time. Catalyze the stoppered flow of time at the Pit of Time. An ancient machine will duly deliver you to the Altar of Time. So it seems like I have to come here in order to get the Time Freeze Lantern. But I need a cog first. I need some kind of a gear. I need a yep cog. Interesting. Oh, that's not... Man. Where am I going to find a three-eyed waterfall from? That's what I want to know. Sweet dreams are made of cheese, and who am I to disabree? Who are you to disagree? It's a good question, honestly. Dude, I can't believe that this place uh, cheesed me like this. I was so sad. I got completely scammed by this place. I'm not sure what it wants me to do. Hmm. Like, I'm pretty sure I did what it wanted me to do, but then, like, nothing happened over here. Which I found confusing. It's a high tier pun. It is a good pun. It's no less than I would expect from uh, Avery and Tash. The punsters. As they are called. Anything under here? No. Wind altar. Corridor of wind. Cough oldsters? Hey. I mean, sort of, but... You know, that's... You know, you, you can't define them by that. Hey, my fairy is back. Mm. 
still answer if I have what I need to solve this. Nah, that's okay. I'm good. Thank you, though. How do we get in here, anyway? I, I tried scanning. I tried scanning this, right? It still means nothing at all on purpose. Okay, I, I trust you with that. Yeah, I don't know how to get to my dad's camp. I think that's my dad. I don't know how my dad got in there. You fed up. You are fed up with us all. Do better. Eh, I think they're doing just fine. Personally, I think they. Um, I think that they know jack about geez there you go sorry i took me a little second to get there and add emo from jackie what do we got where um i can change it oh my god okay how do i i forget how i do this add wait i forget how i edit here custom name um Okay, did that work? No, why how do I save this? What the hell? I'm so confused. I need to make this a custom name. I think that worked. That worked? There we go. Okay. I got you, Jackie. You're a good person, not some moonster. It's too late. Don't worry, Smee, but I fixed it. I fixed it. If only Carolyn were here to take notes. Yes, I don't know where she is. <laughs> oh, it's relevant. I also don't know where I'm going in the video game. Do you think that's a good emo, Koro? I think it's... I don't like it. <laughs> I don't think it's one of my favorite emotes. Fuck. Oh god, I have to think now, don't I? Accusations of bad puns leave you blue. Isn't it blue? Isn't... Isn't it like blue cheese, like a, like a French word or something? Or is it just the color blue? Oh, I have one thing I want to check. Um, where am I looking for? Isn't Phobos back in La Milana? He has an Ankh jewel for me, doesn't he? Or at least I can go buy it from him. I think so. Call that because of mold. Yeah, well, I mean, all cheese is just mold, isn't it? Not how cheese works. But yeah, it is, it's definitely a mold cheese. No, yeah, I know. It's, it's not actually how all cheese works. But blue cheese is mold. And my mom's a fan? I'm not a fan. Moldy science. Are you a mold with a U or a mold without a U kind of person? Open question to the chat. Which side are you on? You've been eating mold? Oh no. Oh well, it's true. You were eating your black mold, but but I don't think you were doing it by choice. Your team Edward? Oh, still? So I can just get another jewel from you. Okay. Thank you. Is it cheese they make with maggots? Oh, really? Is that but, uh, like Pepper Jack. There is an item up here, by the way. They think that they're slick, but they're not slick. I can see the item that's up there. I see it. You know, this area probably gets, like, fixed some point later in the game. The cheese was in the walls, was it? It sounds like something uh, Wallace would say. The cheese is in the walls, Gromit. 
Where am I going? The chase is in the walls, Gromit. Why can't I find Roots of Yggdrasil? There we go. Your favorite boss from Dark Souls is the one boss from the game you think you haven't played yet? Oh yeah. My favorite is Ornstein and Smoth, personally. Guy needs to get a new hobby? What, eating cheese is not an acceptable hobby to you? Structurally similar to the mother and not in danger of being destroyed by her. I wonder if Eglana was actually the mother's very first child. Other than child, maybe something more akin to a copy of herself rather than child. She may have created it in case her own body was somehow destroyed. So why has it become active now? Probably because her body has been destroyed, man. That would be my guess. You like Sister? Sister is the coolest aesthetically? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't like any of the... I don't know. I'm not a fan of how Dark Souls in by, by Dark Souls 3 becomes just like all the bosses are just like anime characters. <laughs> you know? It, in general, the series gets more anime over the course of the trilogy. Yeah, I have to go look around a bunch of places now. Time to time to try, time to find where I want to go. Anime is cool. Who? Shall I go here? Like the dark Catholic sort of thing she's got going on. Hmm. God. Yeah, that's reasonable. I can't do anything here. Nope, I can't do anything here. Can't go low enough here. Okay. Agree on the whole they went to anime. I don't know, my favorite bosses in Dark Souls are the ones that are just like weird fucking things. Just enemies in general. I think that's like what makes the enemy design so cool and unique in Dark Souls. Is when it's just like really wacky little dudes, you know? Oh my god. I don't know where I'm going. There's nothing over here except for sigils as well. Titanomachy Monument. Uh, do I just wander through places that I've already been, hoping to see something I haven't seen before? I wonder if I need to start putting the pieces together with these rooms here. Dark Star Lord's Footprint. Dark Star Lord's Footprint. Is that what all those things are called? All of those rooms? I need to find sigils. It's what I need. Is I need to find the fucking three-eyed waterfall. That's like the that's the number one thing that I need more than anything else right now. Is I need sigils. Why is Mario a girl in this one? You're a feminist. You're just wondering. Uh, they just got too woke, honestly, in Lama Lana too. It's just kind of kind of kind of sad. Kasumatsu is considered by Sardinian aficionados to be unsafe to eat when the maggots and the cheese have died. Mm. I'm sure it's okay. I want to try... Apparently there's this dish from Mexico City that's like ant larva. I really want to try that. I'm pretty sure this room takes... requires wall clinging. Can't do that yet. It can settle in your intestines if you eat them while alive. A lot of people kill them right before eating it. What do you mean settle in your intestines? Surely if you just chew well, they'll die in your mouth, right? I mean, are you swallowing it whole or what? How big are the maggots? Infest? Ain't no way maggots can live in your stomach. It's like pH 2. And you chew first, right? You don't trust Sardinian aficionados, really? What do you have against the Sardinians? You do not trust their... Okay, yeah, so I didn't notice, for some reason I completely didn't notice this before, but all of these rooms in each region is called the Dark Star Lord's Footprint. And I've had seen some mentions about the Dark Star Lord before, but I haven't really been writing it down. Mm. You'll not be eating the Margaret cheese? That's totally fair. Can we hor chosen a horrible time to join... Give you a shout out in 10 minutes when you're not discussing your phobia. Oh, I'm sorry, Evie. We can stop right now if you want. I don't think anyone likes talking about this too much, right? All right. Dark Star Lord sounds like an 80s metal hairband. 
sorry, 80s hair metal band. Metal hairs would be something completely different. Let's talk about chatter. Let's. And, uh... Ah. Someone should at Eevee to let them know that we are no longer discussing the undiscussable. The lead's message, surely no one wants to discuss it further? Yeah, surely. Shatter, I hardly know her. <laughs> oh, what a sensible chuckle you get out of me sometimes, but Oh, wow. Oh, my. It's nothing to do in this whole gosh damned fucking place. Oh! 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 Sorry. I got really excited. I'm, I'm at an Eevee since no one else will do it. Okay. Also, hi. Wait, never mind. Flamble's not saying hi to me. Aesir spoke of the scattered stars of what is known as heaven. To those who seek, must speak. I know where to use that. The name of Himin. I have it. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We can do it. We're gaming. Yo, thanks. Not a problem. I turned ape. I got really, really excited. I saw the thing that I could do. I have to heal first, by the way, but I'm coming back to Valhalla. Yes, I have a him. I finally have a him. Brungies now? That was Brungies, yes. That was a genuine Brungies. Certified Brungies moment. What did Flammable say to you, Koro? Am I allowed to to know? Jesse exploring was right after all. Well, I've been exploring the whole time, Avery. What do you mean? I mean, yeah, obviously. You gotta explore in this game. It's just I finally found a correct place, or a, a place that goes somewhere. Like it more when it's horrible? That's for Brung Sad. What? I've... Yep, uh-huh. No, that's my bad for forgetting that that's there. I did learn how to use hairs, yes. It's not intuitive. When you have the heaven to mantra... And I can use stairs. You could say that I co combined, I have the stairway to heaven. Brung happy is for good times? Uh, I don't know what good times means to you. Uh, I have to, like, select it, don't I? Gaming! Good work, thank you! <laughs> when you have heaven to mantra, do not touch the spiraling light. It will burn anything not born of this land to cinders. The spiraling light, eh? Okay. There's another gate down there that I don't know what to do with, so I'm not going to touch it yet. Oh, that's spiraling light, I assume. Talking about? Okay. Open as a shortcut. Wrong happying it up at the party? Dude, that's exactly what I look like at parties. It's kind of crazy how you would know that. It isn't that one? I can touch it. Really? I can touch this one? I'm pretty sure I am not born of this uh, place. Fuck. No, come on. Anyone not born of the thing? I mean, I had to try. I had to try. I couldn't just, like, not do it. I had to... I mean, I didn't... Ex okay. What did What's-His-Face say this would lead to? Did he say this would lead to anything in particular? I don't remember. I should talk to the guy again. See what he says. Happy is in the name? Yeah, but it's, like, ironic, you know? Brungies try. Trying is kind of Brungies, isn't it? What does this guy say? 
Why the hidden relic? A mantra turns words. And can't the hidden mantra representing heaven in front of the bust of Mimir here in this room? A path leading up above. Okay, he doesn't say what it leads to. I kind of thought I remembered him saying, like, it leads to X or Y or whatever. Is this the only place? Where this works? Like, that I know of currently, where him, him in is the correct uh, mantra? Uh-oh. Jack, you're looking brung gay today, sad face. Jackie told me you're gay. What's up, Eminem? I am not gay. Exclusively. Brung happy about that? Wait, about which part? If it makes you feel better, Eminem... There is six other reasons keeping us apart other than my sexuality. I knew Jackie was just being mean. First of all, it's not mean to say someone's gay. Second of all, Jackie is correct in an abstract sense, you know, in a uh, cultural sense. Jackie's a liar and a criminal of every kind. Not every kind. I don't think I can do this yet, can I? What would I even do if I could cut through here? This is what I don't quite understand. Maybe I need to come from the other side? But like, what would be the point of this whole shortcut if I could just come from the other side? How do I get to those rooms down there? This is the fire altar. He was being mean to you? I don't think that was, I don't know if that was his intention. I don't know if he was trying to be mean to you. Okay, there's that room over there. I don't think I can come in from that way. Everyone knows asexuals and bisexuals don't exist. That's why we get into movies for free. Dude, I wish. Where's my free bisexual movie class? Well, oh, I mean, movie pass, sorry. I got owned. You also think that about that god image I sent you the other day? It was a very good image. I'm glad. I'm glad that that is stuck in your brain. There's supposed to be a treasure in the poison water in Valhalla, but I don't know where. Dude, I got really excited about that mantra, and now it doesn't really seem to get me anything, and now I'm sad. Get one free movie on Bisexual Awareness Day? What day is that, anyway? Is that, a, is that real? Fuck, okay, that was just this. Thank you, Bargain Duck. Anyway, I hope that you've had a good day, Eminem. Other than your brief disappointment. Nick, Jackie, and Brungo have that Goku and Vegeta kind of dynamic. I don't totally know what that means. I don't know what this means. Two stone tablets that respond to the Holy Chalice, the waves that warp the Chalice's power, will lead you to the Blackstone Tablet. Yeah, I don't know what that means. There's supposed to be some treasure under here in Valhalla. You don't know what that means either? You forget? Oh, okay. It means that we're buds. Ah, yes. We're pals. Smiley face. Goku and Vegeta is a character from a comic. Was Dragon Ball a manga before it became a uh, anime? Dude, I have to do something with these thrones at some point, I'm so convinced, but I have no idea what. Manga is a comic? Yeah, I know, I just I didn't know that. I mean, I guess all animes have started as a manga, right? I don't- are there- are, are there, like, original animes that aren't mangas? Isn't that just, like, how the industry works? Fuck. Fuck, I say. Yeah? It's an American DC comic first before the rights were sold to Akira Toriyama. Really? I had no idea. How cool. Hmm. 
I wonder if the treasure was literally just the information about what's her face that was under the water there. Okay, so basically that got me nothing, is what I gather. Oh, maybe I should try a little bit harder before I give up. Smeavit's lying to you. Oh, okay. All the good ones start as anime? Yeah, well, I would think in general that if something is made to be an anime from the start, then it would be an easier time being good than something that's just an adaptation of an existing story. Treasure was the information about our friends we about our friends along the way. I don't intend to seek- Oh, he did the exact same thing again. I am mad at myself. Goku was Superman at first before the rewrite. That's why Superman versus Goku debate is hot. This sounds really fake to me. Sounds incredibly cap. Also, how are you, Eevee? I'm sorry to have jump scared you with uh, mentioning unspeakable things. Uh, when you came in. FLCL is an anime early only, unfortunately. I've heard good things about that one, I think. Oh no, I hear good things about a lot of them. Can you stop? Why is Gengar fucking throwing a giant line of fireballs at me? Get out of here. Yo, Gengar there had three eyes. I'm looking for a three-eyed waterfall. I'm sure that has nothing to do with anything. It's interesting. FLCL is good. Neon Genesis Evangelion is great as a show. Is it? I have heard certain things about Neon Genesis Evangelion. Certain things. Can I? There you go. You're good. I'm glad to hear it. Comic version came out and was bad. Aren't there like five trillion Evangelions? Oh, I never collected this mist, by the way. I got the thing, and they explained it to me, and then I never actually used it. What does that do? What, is, what does that do? Does that do anything? It's a one-season show? But, like, isn't the Neon Genesis universe, like, big? Like, isn't there multiple series? set in the universe. Then there's a movie. Oh, uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what that did. I don't know what that was for. Not really? Okay, never mind. Good Japanese things? Well, why... What does that phrase mean? But are you doubting the goodness of Japanese things? Huh. Okay. Well, I'm stumped. I, I was really excited for a second because I saw a mantra, and then I no longer know what to do anymore again. So, there's that. Remake movie series of four movies as well. Okay, interesting. I feel like I'm making terrible progress today, actually. I feel like I'm... The problem is I don't know where to even start looking to get another Guardian. I guess, so every area has a Guardian, right? If it's anything like the first game. Hmm. This game has really gone cown hill. Hmm. I don't know if I agree with that. I don't think that's quite true. I would disagree with that statement. I can't go down here, right? Let me double check this. Yes, has absolutely no idea. Thank you, Eevee. Hey, you have about as much idea as I do about things. Probably. <laughs> Sorry. What level are we? Three. I have no follower emotes. It's true, I don't. Should I make all my sub emotes follower emotes? Would that be... I kind of forget that that's like a thing. 
Should I just give up all pretense of uh, monetization? I don't want, I mean, I, I, I don't have any pretense of monetization. I don't really want to make money off of the thing. That's kind of epic, being level 3. Yeah. Yeah. It is epic, isn't it? I don't have to. I kind of feel like I should, I don't know. Your first batch would be worthless. I mean, the point of subbing is to not see ads, right? Slash, if you feel inclined to leave a tip or something. I don't know. Dark Star Lord's Footprint. You want me to make money? You don't want to pay me? I mean, I make money. I have a job. <laughs> right? So, I'm good on that front. It's true, I don't run any ads. Any ads on this channel are just the default ones that uh, Twitch gives out. You know what, something, hold on. I, you're, there's something here I should inspect that I keep noticing and I keep not following up. Why in this pillar, why is this fire sometimes lit and sometimes not. Hmm. Should make one emote for followers since the most versatile emote on the world? I really should. You have no idea? Okay. I was wondering if that's something I was supposed to notice. No midstream ads, but there are at the start. Yeah, there's there's pre-roll ads that Twitch runs. I thought there was mid-roll ads too. Doesn't Twitch automatically run a certain number of ads per hour? Do you guys really get no ads at all? You get no ads? Huh. Okay. Oh, you have turbo. Okay. They get the Deep Rock Galactic Pickaxe. One of your favorite descriptions of rock and stone is to commute anything and all of them are positive. The problem with me having a Deep Rock Galact a Galactic Pickaxe is that I've never played the game. So it'd be weird for me to have it as an emote. You know what I mean? I don't know what I'm doing here, by the way. I've like... Yeah. Yeah, no, that's... That sounds about right. That just makes it funny. It is pretty funny. I should play it. I sh yeah, I mean, I've heard it's good. The problem is that, like, it's not really, it doesn't really fit well within the space of the kinds of games that I play on this channel, you know what I mean? Which are, like, single-player, campaign-based, slash story-based, like, have a beginning and an end kind of thing, you know? You're the only person who doesn't like Deep Rock Galactic much. It's also like, at the end of the day, isn't it just like a space mining game? I mean, I don't know. I'm sure it would be charming. I have no idea. Like, I've done more like multiplayer type open-ended games as like, uh, because they won raffles, right? I did a stream of TF2. I did a stream of Roblox. I need a... Okay, I could try enchanting or encanting here, but I think I need a different... Um, I think I need a different mantra. Uh, um, yeah, I need the different mantra. Hmm... You don't like that the science is so inaccurate? <laughs> In what deep rock galactic? Oh god. I would hate if that bothered me about stories. You don't do well with go and win mission game personally, but it's made well. Oh really? You think you wouldn't like Lethal Company either then? I got a wisdom, said to be highly wise, encanting in front of the bus will trigger response. Right, but I need like a specific Which which encantation do I need? This is Power of the Stars. Hmm. Designed for co-op, you've been trying to play it solo, you're gonna get 30% of the experience. Yeah, that's sort of what I gathered. I didn't even know it was solo. I thought you had to do it in a party. Hmm. 
Need spoiler deleted. Oh, thank you. You like when the characters say we're rich? I like when I say I'm rich, but I never have the opportunity to say it. I'm not. Do I go wander through Onwafir? See if there's a mantra I missed in Onwafir? What are the chances there's a mantra in on Onwafir that I missed? Pretty low, right? I've been all over this place like a billion times. You're not Richard. And how would you know, but how would you know if I were or weren't a Richard? Are you the Richard decider now? The dick master, one might say. Oh my god, I'm gonna die to the elephant. Uh, love they specifically added voice lines for mission control, getting pissed with you about it. And he audibly sounds like three times more upset when you ping the mushroom. Wait, what? Or if you keep saying we're rich or something, then mission control gets mad at you. I guess they don't want you to be rich. I keep telling you that? I do. I don't think I'm... Wait, what? I don't think I keep saying that I'm Richard, do I? These look like messages, but I don't think they're the kind of things that I'm supposed to scan. Has he found the place with the thing and the movement? I have the dash, if that's what you mean. Oh, right, I don't, I don't drown underwater anymore. I would love to have an anchor. There's definitely places where it feels like I'm supposed to um, be able to stand at the bottom of water. Like that was one of them, but there's others as well. So either you get to drain water from the level or there's like the anchor that lets you walk at the bottom. Of. Oh, we're rich, sorry. I kept thinking of, honestly, when you said the name Richard, I was abbreviating that in my head to Dick, not to, uh... Yeah, this one too. We need to be able to sand at the bottom. Also, we need the sigil, probably. Being a giant chunk of gold, if you do it for an extended period of time, mission control will get on comms and say, yes, you're rich, when you kind of get a move on. My management breathing around my neck. Oh, I see. That makes sense. I mean, if I saw a giant, pint, a giant thing of gold, I would be a little dick about it too, probably. I'd be excited, what can I say? Mm. There's nothing. That's not a mantra. God damn it. Um, what if I tried to get that Earth Spear power puzzle done again? I, I don't think I have what I need for that puzzle. I really don't. The one that's here in Onwafin. On the other hand, it would kind of make sense. It would kind of make sense if I could do it. So if your comments are too complicated. No, no, no. Your comments aren't complicated, but trust me, my brain is just simple. I have a head empty style of uh, reading. Oops. Uh, I forgot, is there anything over here? No. Not really. Do with a mushroom, he's audibly more pissed about it because at least with the gold you're rich, but there's no point to the mushroom. Maybe the mushroom tastes good. You know? The mushroom is healthy. It grants you what no amount of gold can give you. Your health. The most precious gift of all. Hmm. Oh my god, it's not the stupid monkey again. Dude, I I hate that fucking monkey. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna cheese this thing. 
die, 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 die. Birds will literally sit there around the giant xenofungus chanting mushroom over and over again. You can't even collect it? What? But it, it's good eating, isn't it? Um, seventh children's figurine. I don't have that. What Earth Spear puzzle? Well, I call it the Earth Spear puzzle. It's probably not actually an Earth Spear puzzle. Um, I'm talking about the one over here. Oh wait, isn't this? A oh, this is an incantation one too. I don't think I have the mantra for it, but it is an incantation thing. I should give it a try. Just to see whether the one that I have is what I need. No. What does this say? Oh, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Yep. Uh, golden. Yeah, okay. Pass the hand with the mark of life. Don't know what that means, but I think I know where the golden rock is. Don't know what to do here. Don't have the right mantra. Oh, lol. Xenofungus is a crazy word in a good way. It's a wild word to say, to spell, and to dream. I do like the word Xeno anything as like a fictional thing regarding like alien life, you know, like Xenobiology, Xenoanthropology, Xenoarchaeology. Those are the words that we need in the world. Those are the words in the words of the world. This is the puzzle I'm talking about. I would love to be able to get this. It kind of sounds like all I need is the Earth Spear, but I also think that's not really true. I think I need something else that I don't know what yet. And even if I do only know the Earth Spear, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. All right, let's leave before I die. Okay, I wandered all over on within and I didn't find any more mantras. Have I broken the vase yet? No, I can't. I don't know how. I can't break the vase, to my knowledge. My earth spear doesn't go that high. And I don't have anything else that shoots upward. Like, I figure it has to do with breaking the vase, but... Okay. Dude, it's the sigils. I need the frickin' I need sigils to open things. I swear that's what I'm locked by more than anything else. I just have no idea where to go though. I need Zeno Brungo. Zeno, Warrior Brungo. Hey team, it's Koro again, eating cracker and cheese at the same time and together. Is it Pepper Jack again? Just wondering, you know? Smiley face. Not gone to a few places you expect me to have gone to by now? Oh, yeah. That makes sense. It's Pepper time? I don't know what the pepper does in this game. In this game, the pepper is a consumable instead of a quest item. I have no idea what it's for. Like I've used it and nothing obvious seemed to happen. You sound like my parents. Your parents watch you go places that you haven't been to yet? I'm sorry to hear about that. That's gotta be rough. Ah! One that confuses me the most is why I haven't gone in spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. It's not hard to find. But you have to keep in mind, I didn't find Valhalla for like 10 hours. I went through like the whole other place first. And that's apparently supposed to be pretty early and easy to get. So it could be I'm just missing something. I don't know. Problem is, I don't know where to start looking. I really want to get to this top part of Divine Fortress. Um, but I... I really think I can't get up that little elevator thing without wall cling. I think I'm supposed to wall cling to get to the top part of Divine Fortress. 
And the rest of Divine Fortress is pretty small when I walk through there and there's like nothing left to get. And in order to get Wall Clang, I need to get either past Nidhogg or, or like, well, I have to be in the area of like ice, the Song of Ice and Fire or whatever, which seemed like hell to go through that one way. And it also seemed to imply that I needed like some sigils to get there, I think, or maybe I'm misremembering that. Game gives you dust and Elysian tail vibes in this area select screen for some reason. Very positive. Dust is a great game. I feel like I've heard of dust and Elysian tail, maybe. But I don't really know what it is. John and Danny's Treetop. Is that like the children's adventure adaptation of uh, Game of Thrones? I always wanted to play dust, but you don't because you play RuneScape instead. Are they equivalent games? Are they similar? Oh god. Excuse me, sorry, that's a yawn. Um I need to think. Where would I wanna go? I could just keep banging my head into Nidhogg over and over until I get him. Furry 2D platformer with combat? Well that doesn't sound RuneScape adjacent at all. Oh, you're just saying you don't play Dust you don't play any video game because you play RuneScape, that's what you mean. No, I get you. And watch me run in circles for a while, yeah. I think w due to a lack of better ideas and having already run around a lot in random places, I think I'm just gonna bang my head into the Nidhogg wall. Do I like furry things? Yeah, who doesn't? Who doesn't like furry things? Oops. <laughs> You know, it's not quite as difficult as it seems once you get the pattern down, but wow, does it hit hard? Yeah, if you... God fucking damn it. If I basically get hit by the, um... Big flame attack, like, once, it's doomed. Is Brungo a furry? Now that is a much more difficult question to answer. You know? Some would say yes, and some would say no. It depends on your point of view. Okay, I see. Okay, I see. Oh, I have so many shurikens. I can absolutely just kill it like this. Oh. Okay, actually wait, that looks very approachable. That actually looks very approachable. Hold on. Wait, I can do that for sure. I just have to kill it purely with shurikens. Oh, I should have died. I should have died to get my shurikens back instead of teleporting out to heal. Yeah, hold on. I need to find something to kill me real quick. Uh, wait, but with... Oh, no, I already... God damn it. I saved because I hit the thing. Yeah, whatever. I'll go heal. You wonder that yourself from what you've gathered by vague comments like that? There's a past? There's no past, actually. If anything, it's a future. Well, it depends what you mean by... Would you mean... Would you define being a brony in, like, twelve through, age 12 through 15 a past? I don't think so. I think those are adjacent but separate entities. You like Komodo dragons? You're not a furry, though? Yeah, no, that would be scaly, wouldn't it? I have a lizard fur soda. I... I no. That's certainly not true. No fur soda. Oh, what? Oh, Eminem. A pass, you know? Like the thing that happened before the future. And the present. I think bronies are necessary. Are furries necessarily, but they can be too. Yeah, they're like, they're, they're adjacent fandoms. They're not the same, but they're similar. So, do I avoid this attack if I duck here? 
no. <laughs> okay, worth checking though. I feel like there's, it feels like there's a spot where I just avoid the attack. And I should try to find it. You love brownies? Who doesn't? Brownies are great. Scaly is just a furry for laser lizards and reptiles. So there's avians for birds. Yeah, but it's all kind of within the broader category sometimes. Sometimes furry is just a catch-all for everything, I think. I don't know. I'm not an expert in these matters. Brownie is a character in Genshin Impact. Yeah, pretty much. That's basically it. I think you were close enough. What? Fuck. Okay. Fuck! Wait, what? Brony is a character in Honkai Impact 3rd? Is that true? I, I believe that. I have no knowledge of that, but I believe it. Fuck. What's it called of your fursona is Spongebob? A spongy, obviously. Hmm. Hmm, I thought I saw something. But now he, he keeps putting up his fire shield faster than I swear he did before. You know too much about Honkai Star Rail and Genshin? You will correct you will correct you? Wait. Honkai comma Star Rail? I thought those were the same thing. I thought it was Honkai Star Rail. I'm really good at jumping into him. Ah, uh, I'm not am I? He's your character sponge worthy? True. Are you worthy of having a sponge sona? You really live up to that pressure. Dude, he keeps... I swear before I had the time to throw some shurikens at him. And now I, like, can't. Before he puts up his next shield. So it must be based off of my spacing. My spacing must be wrong. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I need to be on the ground. Okay. I get it. Oh wait, no, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Is it just random? Um, this is wrong. Wait! Oh! It's the horse toys! It's- well, they're ponies, but... Yeah, basically. What the- <laughs> that fucking whipped me at the end! Is Honkai Impact the Third and Honkai Star Rail they're two separate games? Oh, I had no idea. I had no idea it was a franchise or anything. Honey, you invented the Sponge Sona? I'm pretty sure, uh... What's his face? You know, the guy who made Spongebob invented the Sponge Sona. It, hin, hi, uh, Hillenberg. Humans are animals, so aren't we all furries? Some of us are furrier than others, though. Let's be real. Some of us are smooth as a baby's bottom. Okay. Hmm. Spongebob is to spongies what Robin Hood was to furries. Huh. Yeah, created a whole generation of spongies. I should make an emote, an emote called spongies. Hi. Oh, hi, Thalston. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Smoothies. Oh, I love smoothies. I haven't had a smoothie in a long time. Humans have more hairs than a gorilla? Yeah, I feel like, you know, humans are actually, like, the number of hairs that humans have is actually really high. It's just a matter of, like, uh, they're, it's very thin, our hairs. A 
Oh my god, that's not what I wanted to do. Doing good, just move back in with your mom. Oh. Is that good or bad from your perspective, from where you are in life? Good, awesome, glad to hear that. Congrats, are you nice and settled in? Or are you still like packing or anything? Oops, unpacking, I mean. They're high because it helped you sweat. I feel like I've missed a couple of lines of dialogue in this conversation on account of trying to beat this fucker. Because <laughs> I don't know what that means. They're high because it helps us sweat. Oh god, no, 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 no! Fuck! Rungo fighting the first mini boss was up, Ironhawk? Yeah. I've decided to try to brute force this. I've decided I've ran out of other places to go. It moved in for three weeks? For a few weeks, okay. Very nice. Oh my god, no. Yes. Yes, beautiful. Wait, can I... I can. Living situation is so mom-coded. Also, how are you doing, Ironhawk? Hello. Oh, it's your first message day, I think. Fuck. Oh, what am I doing? No, no. What? Oh, I jumped. I just jumped too late. You been playing anything interesting, Thousand? Playing anything fun? <sighs> Fuck, dude. I tried to whack it with my... Augies! You like that emote now? Oh my god, fuck me, dude. You like that emote now, Eminem? Poggies? I've been seeing you, you know, I think the first time you saw that, you were outraged. You were... You were angry. You were... You, you couldn't believe your eyes. And now I see you using it a lot. You can't see the emote? Oh, really? Well, you can on the, uh, you can on the chat on screen, can't you? Fuck, dude, is the strangest superhero? Imagine if your superpower was fucking dudes. I'm getting better at this. Yeah. I've sort of got an idea down, but I'm wasting a lot of time. There's definitely a way to do this faster. Or, oh, whatever. Finish. Oh, quota. Yo, very nice. 35%. What is, uh, oops. What was your quote? Fuck, I jumped way too early. Does 35% mean you got 35% of your quota? Or does it mean your quota was 35% of something? I'm fucking, god damn it. If it's still my master, masturbatory fantasy, you're angry? First of all, what do you mean still? Aha, okay. Do you think that I uh, am the kind of person to get off to, like, basic anime titties? Don't you think my taste is a little bit more refined than that? Oh, fuck. Jump too late. Go faster if I stop missing him. Oh yeah, thanks. I'll try to keep that in mind. What? I... that should have hit. No? Why are bosses starting on 50% HP? I don't actually know why the health bar is presented that way. I think it's because you fight them multiple times over the course of the game. And so it's like showing the max max HP that they like eventually get in their final form. Versus their current HP in their current form. Are you saying no, you don't think I have more refined fantasies than that, Avery? Because... I am, uh, I'm outraged. I'm insulted. Anime titties are incredibly <laughs> overrated. Fuck. Your tastes are far refined and niche and weird, yes. I expect there to be a lot of weird niche tastes in this chat. Fuck! I'm dying. No way I love this. 
You're lying. You're just giving me crap. Okay. I mean, you, you can you can give me crap. I wouldn't actually be insulted. Oh my god. If uh. Oh, nice. It's still hit. I wouldn't actually be insulted if somebody said I liked anime titties. I don't think that's much of an insult. Couldn't help looking at the emote. I'm definitely addicted to creepy animations. Creepy. But you mean like a Xavier Renegade Angel? That, that's a pretty creepy animation. Okay. Up, up, up. Sorry. I'm like half reading chat, I'll be honest. I'm really trying to kill this guy. I'm trying my absolute fuck brung hardest. And it's going to take a while. One hit. One hit at a time. And I'm constantly one hit from death myself. Fuck, I missed. I missed. That's the life bar, yeah. Well, which one? The top mine or his? Both life bars are currently visible. Fuck. On. Okay, come on, please. I, why did I jump there? I jumped way too early. I just like, completely forgot my entire strategy. Okay. Oh, but I can. Oh, I can hit him with a shuriken if I jump early, though, because I get there fast enough. So that's okay. It's not bad. Brungo, what's up, Eminem? What you saying? Oh, what am I doing? I did it again. I did it again. I did it again. Ha! Hey, let's fucking go. Okay, okay. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Oh, instant save. Leaving to save. Leaving to save. Okay. Always wondered how the no sub weapon skill of this boss worked. It looks a lot like that, I guess. Why are all my emotes Asian women? Am I a fetishist? Um, if you're talking about all the, like, Chewan emotes, all the, like, the K-pop emotes... Um, those were added by Waka Choo Choo with the add emote uh, redemption or just by request. I I don't I'm not into K-pop or any of that. So none of that is me. I don't use any of those emotes. Thank you for the congrats. Save save. I'll save save next time I remember to. Beauty indeed. Oh thank you, Newman. Blame Waka? It is. It's genuinely all Waka adding that. It's not me. Oh, that's not a God damn it. It's a real skeleton. A likely story? It's true. He'll corroborate that. He'll agree with me. Next time he remembers equals tomorrow. No, no, no. Oh, hey! It's my dad. Fuck. Why is my dad running away from me? What did I do to make him hate me like this? This path is a freezing one. The frozen treetop presided over by the guardian Mod Good. Mod's bad, actually. You must pass the frozen pillar to proceed. You watch Waka add your favorite emote in real time. Which one is this again? Chaewon? Oh, mad. <laughs> Why do you like that one so much, Sweeba? In particular. What's so good about it? Tech confirmed to you I've wandered where you were wondering if I wondered about wandering. Oh, yeah, I was wondering about that. Thank you, Avery. What is this? There's ice mixed in with that there water. Even with the scale sphere, the cold is probably going to chip away at your health. Look at it. It's kind of like mods. It's kind of like the monkey emote mods, except, uh... Oh, fuck. Wait. Oh, wait. There's a thing over there. I want to read that. Well, I, I know I can't go that way because I don't have the cape. Ah! Okay. I didn't fall. 
What did my dad write me? My dad wrote me something. Lore. I'm not looking for, quote, your dad. I'm looking for, quote, my dad. What's that a quote from, June? Who are you quoting? Are you quoting me? Did I say that? I don't remember saying that. Why do I have why do I have Discord messages? Who's been adding me? Oh, never mind. It's none of you people. Um Okay. The remaining survivors of the fifth children. I, I gotta do some reading. That one show. I don't know what that one show is. The remaining survivors of the fifth children are enclosed with the gate of the <laughs> I'm being added. Gate, date of the uh, fifth children close within the gate of the dead. A race known as the Aeneid. Aeneid Aeneads. Apparently, they are sealed off deep down in one of the branching areas together with their enemy race, the Amarna. Okay, by you people, I mean like, you know, viewers of the streams, me bit. What, what, what else do you think I would mean by that? The cause of their fighting is unknown. It is likely that the Aeneid are fighting against the Amarna because the Amarna are looking to seize power. Not yet having spoken with the Ennead people, this is all I can say with confidence. Paired with the previous races, it seems as though the fifth children were created to be much more intelligent than their predecessors. One would assume that the mother realized that having too much power had caused previous races to set their sights on the power of the mother herself, and therefore create this smaller, more intelligent race. Consequently, inside Eglana, which is filled with an eclectic mix of various races, these people are referred to as dwarves. However, too much intelligence can also become a form of great power. Their high intelligence caused them to fear their own mortality, regardless of the fact that they had much longer natural lifespans than we modern humans. So the fifth children continue their research into technologies and methods for escaping death, as well as for creating life itself. The races remaining in La Milana constructed a massive pyramid, and plan to utilize it in an attempt to absorb the mother's power. Possibly seeing these behaviors as a form of blasphemy or sacrilege against herself, the mother used her power to throw the language of the fifth children into confusion. Now unable to communicate properly amongst themselves, let alone with other races, the fifth children started fighting each other and eventually wiped themselves out through war. However, the life-bearing machine created by the fifth children, the Tree of Life, was used by the mother as a tool. She was now able to create life and subsequently a new workforce without using any of her own power. Born from this Tree of Life was a race known as the Sixth Children, who are aesthetically similar to modern man. Having been created from clay, their lifespans are immensely longer than ours. It was these six children for whom the influence of the mother was considerably weakened who began to consider sealing the mother away. <sighs> okay. Do I talk to other girls? I'm talking to Avery, like, right now. What is this? Oh, chest. That's gotta be, that's gotta be a, a, a map. I'm going to create these beings who won't try to steal my power for themselves. Children proceed to try to steal their power for themselves, but for different reasons. Yeah, she did that five different times, or like six different times before she gave up, before she caught the hint and realized that maybe she just should not be doing that anymore. But she's a slow learner, that mother, isn't she? It's weird knowing I talk to people beside you. Not many, but some. There's a tool that allows you to latch into walls. Yes. With it, you could swing around a pillar polished to a mirror sheen. Oh, that would be cool. I do need that. <gasps> it's that easy? I thought that would be the map. Oh, my. Ah, grease. Okay. Okay, I really thought that would be the map. Okay. Okay. We, have, we can claw. I forget the controls. For, I forget the controls for this. Do I need to equip it? No. How does this work? Press the up button while jumping to latch onto walls, and the jump button when latch to kick off. Ah, oh, beautiful. Okay. Oh, we. Okay. All right. Everything is opened up again. Avery doesn't count. She's old enough to be my mom and a. Well, I don't think I wasn't answering that question in the sense of like, am I talking to girls in a romantic sense? You know. Ymir, stone statue thought to be of Ymir, the Norse mytholo mythology proto being. I see. They ex really expect you to kill Nidhogg early? Really? Do they actually expect you to? It's kind of insane. Because that's like, he literally like one shots you. <laughs> if you don't have like 
three health bars already. You read Nidhogg differently? You mean as the streamer Nidhogg, right? That's how you read it? Oh, a fairy. Color of that there lot and lava sure is nasty. It looks suspicious as hell. All my years of experience tell me that this will be impossible even with the ice cape. We'll call this poison lava. Okay, it's almost the same as regular lava to me, but sure. There's a bunch of stuff to do while Nidhogg is alive. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. They kind of expect you to get there eventually-ish though. I don't know, like relatively early, I would say. Earlier than I would have expected. Seeing a bird of prey, beauty begins at the foot of you. Gaze upon that foot. Seeing a bird of prey, beauty begins at the foot of you. Gaze upon the foot of the bird of prey. Okay, so if I see a statue of a hawk or something, stare at the feet, ask for feet pics. I'm sorry, Eminem wanted me to apologize for, what was I, what am I supposed to apologize for Eminem? I already forgot. Yeah, earlier than I would expect, right? I'm so fucked here, by the way. Oh! oh, okay, so the poison lava, like, insta-kills me. It, like, giga immediately kills me. Okay, huh, that's good to know. Maybe I should just get the grapple hook and then leave. By the way, Boys in Lava hurts. Yeah, he does. Sorry for talking to other girls. Hey, that's okay, Eminem. You don't have to apologize to me for that. Why, why would I care? You know, you should talk to whoever makes you happy. Thought I should know? Oh, thanks, Avery. Yeah, thanks a lot. So up to the phone, but not in bed yet? Yo. Hopefully you will be comfortable soon. Stop! Okay. <laughs> Stop! Stop! I got trolled. Okay. Path is a freezing one. Let's pass the frozen pillar to proceed. I indeed, I must. Indeed, I must. Can I get up here? I want to read what this says, even though I can't get here without the ice cape. A searing treetop presided over by the giant searcher. Those not born of here have no hope of survival. Yeah, I know. I need the ice cape. Dogs wanted to go outside. Ooh. Hope your dogs had a fun time. Oh, I see. I can spin around there. That's where I'm supposed to be going. Spinny, spinny, spinny! I'm so dumb. I'm leaving. I'm... Nope, 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 nope. I might be the first person to fall for that one. I No, the thing is, I tried to get out of the way, Smeebit. Like, I knew it was suspicious. I tried to get out of the way, but then I, I think I got hit by a bat or something. I think the bat is what done did it. <laughs> no, I say sorry. Uh, What for? I will never say sorry, because apologizing is a sign of weakness. Fuck. That's what my life coach taught me. Own all of your mistakes. But don't admit to them. What? Oh, wait, that works. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay. Beautiful. Own all your mistakes and roast them into oblivion. I, I agree. I don't think I'm a good roaster, though. Especially not of my own mistakes. I feel like I've never, you know... Put someone on blast before. I feel like I've never owned anyone. I've never put them through the ringer. Fuck. 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 
Fuck. <sighs> Sometimes it's just a struggle. Sometimes it's just a struggle to like go two feet in this game. When was the last hard save? Uh, started the stream probably. It's okay, what are the chances the game just crashes? Wait, hold on. No. Okay, so I can do this now, right? Whoa, what? What? The thing said that I could... First of all, get this, get, get this bat out of the way. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh my god, wait. Okay. Uh, I think I'm supposed to start from the other one? Okay, that's really janky. You forgive me? You weren't good enough for me, you understand. Well, don't say things like that, Eminem. That, uh, that's kind of weird. Switches screens? Oh my god, what the hell? Wait, what do you mean? What's wrong? Huh? Are you quoting me? Did you switch screens? What's wrong with the other screen? Oh, my reaction. I did not expect the spinny thingy to work the way that the spinny thingy worked. Clipped? Wait, what did I do that's worth that's clip worthy there? I'm a little confused. Fuck, dude, this bat. <sighs> okay, we're good. Put it in Discord? Okay. Thank you. I may look at it. I will look at it, I mean. Imagine if this game had, like, a mechanic where when you were, like, super, uh, like, a lot stronger than an enemy, you could just, like, run through them and not get knocked back. You know, like how in turn-based games where when you're super overleveled, you can just, like, run through enemies on the overworld? I think this game would, you know, benefit from that. Who's who is who is texting me? Is that you, Eminem? Uh, surface that's smooth. You could grab with a grapple pod, swing all the way to the other side while holding on to the pillar. Try pressing the direction toward the pillar and pressing the jump button. Yes, yes. So. No, you. Fucking stupid bat! Dude. Hey, let's try that again. God damn it. <laughs> Where's even. What am I looking for? Roots of Eager Soul. First game had that kind of the scripture allowed you to walk through bats. Oh, it did, didn't it? There was a walk through bats option, but it was like only bats. <laughs> Did you know the biggest spoiler to this game is that in the beginning were the words and the words made the world. You are the words. The words are everything. Where the words end, the world ends. Do not go forward in an absence of space. Repeat. Oh. I actually put so many things into perspective. I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of upset that you spoiled that for me. But I, it's, it's, I also feel like I would have never come to that own, my that conclusion myself. Don't hit the bat, don't hit the bat, don't hit the bat. Whatever, I'm up here. This is new. Well, fine, we'll go here. Uh... Oh god, okay. What is the deal with the fucking... Squids? The squids have so much health, it is insane how much health the squids have. Cat update, she meowed at you until you watched her pee? What? Does she... Does your cat like that? Is your cat into that, Epic Kitty? My cat, I think, wants privacy when she's doing her business. She doesn't like people being around for that. Also, hi, how are you doing? How was your Friday? 
Never thought my grave would be here. I'm happy that my mother and father are pleased by me and their blessing made me see the Maker's light. Oh, how wholesome. By Ali Abu Hassan. I think I need an anchor to get this to work. You know the secret slug cat is in this game? Potential misinformation? In my head, the, sleek, the secret slug cat campaign would be a lot like La Moana. <laughs> like... Very similar. Oh, that's so troll. Oh, this is this whole area is just like Giga Omega troll, isn't it? What am I looking at, dude? No, no. What? Wait. Uh, okay. Okay. No. 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 I hate that. Some cats don't have the same. Fuck. Reservations about that as humans do. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense that, like, not all cats really care. But my cat certainly does. Interesting that Hemi does not. Best guess you've got is that in the wild, going to the bathroom is a vulnerable activity. Best done with someone keeping their eye on you. That would make sense. I'm going to get an aneurysm in this level. Oh, what is this? But that makes a lot of sense. And then, so, so you're saying that my cat doesn't trust me. That's what you're saying. Uh, as for in what way I expect the Sleekard Slug Cat campaign to be like La Mulana, I mean in the sense of, no, no, what the f I mean in the sense of suffering, mostly. I expect there to be a lot of suffering. In both, uh, in both games. That's why Homer wants you to watch him poop. Well, that just that seems that just makes sense to me as a dog thing. Dogs love anything poop related. I don't know. Dogs are gross. That tracks in my head. I'm extremely correct on that. Okay. All right. Just just checking. Just making sure that there is suffering involved. Uh. Remember red lizards, how dangerous they are? Oh yeah. Oh, I remember the red lizards. Stop getting knocked off. Are you saying you want me to knock it off, Eminem? Pooping is a vulnerable act. That's why he looks around. True. Dogs have such good noses and they can, they can smell what food was like before it became poo. Yeah, but I think it also still smells like poo. And they just like it. I don't know. Secret Slug Cat has train lizards. A red lizard, but stupidly fast and tough and big enough that they literally shake the screen when they move. Oh. Don't don't hit me with the bat. Don't hit me with the bat. Don't hit me with that bat. Yes. Okay. Okay. New. New area. If it is the flow of water you wish to defy, the treasure of the dwarves will serve. Okay, I need to go into dwarf place to get... I need dwarf to get me the thing for the thing. Who's in here? You gonna head out? You'll have a good night, Epigidi. Thanks for saying hello. And uh, thank you for the cat update. I always appreciate it. Hope you have a good Friday night, Saturday day. Train lizards are the most dangerous lizard in the game because they're just that much of a powerhouse. Yeah, that sounds pretty terrifying. My body was hung in the underworld, left to decay. This was my punishment for daring to enter the underworld living. Oh, I'm sorry, Inanna. You know, I killed someone else who was hung in the underworld. Uh, uh, well, that sucks. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Fuck. Okay, yeah. What is this? Does this kill me? Oh, it would have killed me, wouldn't it? I think it dropped a thing, but it... Oh, wait, no, that thing is dropping the thing. What the fuck? What's over here? Okay. Can I get this hentai off the screen? Hentai? Are you, like, ashamed of the female form, Eminem? Are you... Do you... Have you grown, uh... Ashamed? 
of the body of half of the human race. It's just a it's just a mermaid. It's just a lady. Hung means large penis. Well, hung is the past is a past form of hang. It does also mean large penis, yes. Well, in this context it could mean both, I guess. I mean who's to say? Water flows from the eye of chaos. It watches the con Water flows from the eye of chaos. I'm looking for a three-eyed waterfall. Does chaos happen to have two more eyes in addition to the one? It watches the conflict between angel and demon and weeps at the disparity in power. Huh. Interesting. Okay, I'm thinking. Oh god, I want to read that, but... Oh, hey! Hello. Oh, what? Goodbye. Found a garb chest that needs... What? How did I fall? What happened? Wait, I got an achievement pop-up and I was reading the achievement. Okay, I died somehow. Want to pretend what half these clues mean, but you mostly stumbled into them? Yeah, I haven't been doing a whole lot of actually using the clues so far. <laughs> I'll be honest. Most of them, I'm not even sure if they're clues yet. I got an achievement for a... What was that? What did that achievement say? Found a garb chest that needs a special key to open. Garb chest. Okay, well, I don't have a special key. And this run back sucks. I can't wait to find the teleport for this area. Fell off the ice ramp? I did not realize I was on an ice ramp. Character now... I thought I was on a level surface reading an achievement pop-up, but fuck me, I guess. Oi. No, 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 okay, we're good, we're good, we're chilling. Hey, okay, okay. God, this, nothing but fucking stress in this place, let me tell you. Nothing but stress, no, no. Bad doggy, bad doggy, okay. Okay, there's the ice ramp, I see. I see now what you were talking about. Hey, what's over here? What if I don't read that table yet? What if I just hold off on reading that? Oh, there's a secret thing in here. Secret room, apparently. Is that a hot spring? Is that a hot spring or is that poison lava? <laughs> kind of an important distinction. The heated waters of the plains gush with powers. The power to surpass the body's limit, the power to erase stabbing pain. Power to ease that which leads the hand. Okay, sounds like a hot spring to me. My god. I hate... You know what this game needed? This game absolutely needed ice physics. So true. Water gushing with power. Any gushers in chat? Has anyone eaten a gusher as an adult? Oh my god. Gushers are just like so solidly a childhood memory for me. I wonder how they would hold up. Probably terribly if I were to guess. Really? You sure? You sure I can't go through here? Are you like absolutely certain about that? Pretty sure they're actually just called candies. Candles now? Oh, oh really? They weren't that. I mean, the out, the, the inside of them, the part that gushed wasn't, you know, waxy. Gusher sounds like such a lurid word. Oh, why? What comes to your mind when you hear the word gusher? 
Can't remember eating one ever, maybe once. I never had them like a lot, but like a little bit in, in school, I'm pretty sure. Bur <gasps> Giant bird. I'm supposed to stare at its feet. I'm supposed to stare at its feet. How do I do that? Uh, like this? Yeah, baby! I used clues. I solved puzzle. Hey, speaking of furries, <laughs> this is animal's name is Animal. Hey you, this hot spring will make your skin smooth as an egg. It's so smooth. 50 gold? Yo, fuck. Is this, is this a one-time fee? Actually, okay, I'm kind of actually... I, I feel like I, I don't want to test this. So I'm willing to have this answered for me. Is this a one-time fee? I get permanent access? Or is this like... I pay 50 gold for a single use of the hot spring. Not a one-time fee? All right, get the fuck out of here, sir. I am saving my 50 gold. I have to test it? I didn't want to. I didn't want to. Fuck. You never used it, you don't know. Oh, okay. To me, it says it's single use. Well, that's a shame. That's a shame that the one puzzle that I actually, like, solve and can feel kind of smart about is the one that's completely useless for me because I'm not going to pay the money for that. What's over here? Oh, God, man. Let's not do that. Oh, why? Dude, this area, this area is just... Insane. I feel like, am I... Am I really not supposed to have the map by now? Have I missed the map? It's La Milana, so it's almost definitely a one-time use. Yeah, I kind of figured. The dude is a cheater. Dude. I am a dude, but I'm not a cheater. God of Prosperity, Ganesha. Those who possess the talisman of Ganesha's protection will be blessed with prosperity. Good to know. Good, good, good to know. When I find the map for here, you will laugh so much. Oh, good. I cannot wait to laugh. You're laughing when I find everything. Yeah. And I, I should... I'm realizing... Ah! No. No. That. Okay. Go. Just go with the flow. Just go with the flow. Just go with... I, there's the... There's the... There's the... There's the... Okay. Can't do that. Can't do that. Hmm. Well, there's the teleport. I found the teleport location. Stuck in water. Water is cold. I know water is cold. What do you mean cheating again? How did I cheat that time, Devin? In what sense did I just cheat? Explain yourself. Yeah, I know. That water is moving way too fast. Apparently, I, the, the dwarves have something that will help me with this, though what it said. How do I use a laptop underwater? Well, I use the Holy Grail, right? Is it Holy Grail electronic? Also, maybe I just have a waterproof laptop. Teleport scumming? First of all, it's not cheating. It's a game mechanic. Second of all, you can't just you can't just put the word scumming after a game mechanic and expect that to make it, you know, make me feel guilty for using it. Okay. Whoa! I'm scumming. Now that sounds lurid. Hey, okay. get me out of here. I don't like to be here. Um, I want to read some of these things. Dude, I'm just I'm just staring at all the everything going on on my screen. How do I is that a sigil? I think that's a sigil. That's a seal that I don't have. And I need to do it in order to make the uh Wait, do I have am I supposed to do like no. Uh. Sing Bird of Prey, beauty begins at the foot of you. I think I've almost deciphered it. Oh wait, what? Is this the foot of the bird that I'm supposed to stare at? Seeing Bird of Prey Beauty begins with... No, that's the thing that I already solved, and that's for the room below this one. Yeah. I think. 
Can we go find more seals? I'm looking. Anger. I'm looking for this waterfall, the three-eyed waterfall. <laughs> Which I don't even know. I didn't know waterfalls had eyes, but I'm looking for it. Find seals. Not upset. No! No! <laughs> Wait. I'm... I, okay. All right. I'm fine. Dude... I... Okay, I'm almost dead. To be fair, Durango, the foot puzzle got you for like 20 times. Oh, hey. See? I'll take the dubs where I can get them. Ice is nice. Wait, no, isn't that... Didn't, didn't Schwarzenegger say that? When he was Mr. Freeze? I actually don't remember. Is that... Is that, is that right? I kind of want to see what's on the other side of this. I kind of want to try to do this, but, like, actually. Dude, why is this thing here? Oh, okay. Die. <laughs> Please. Just, come on. Why? <laughs> no, man. Kept getting killed by the spike and the puzzle solved. Oh, interesting. That was Knack in my YouTuber's video. Oh, that's true. Wait, you watch Dunky now, Eminem? Did I get you onto Dunky, or did, did you know Dunky before, and you were just uh, and you were just playing? I do not feel safe. And can't words in the midst of the ominous twisting swelter, the two words that will illumine day and night, will lead to the underworld gate where a V Dolphnir waits. Is this a boss chamber? Is this a guardian chamber? No. Oh, it could be. I don't have the map, so I can't tell if this is like a guardian room. V Dolphnir. Watch some videos, the ones that were suggested when you looked it up. I see. I wonder which ones are suggested when you look them up. Vid Offner, you had tea with him yesterday? You're lying. Really? I thought, I thought you actually had uh, tea with uh, a guardian from La Milana. No! What? No! I have one HP. place sucks. You know where I'm gonna go instead? I know I have a lot to explore here still, but this place sucks. So instead, with my new wall climbing ability, I'm gonna go to that top part of um, Divine Fortress, which is the one part of Divine Fortress I couldn't access, and I can access now that I can wall climb. So that's where I'm going. It's like when you play Pseudo Regalia, what, you, when you play Pseudo Regalia, you have tea with the rabbit with the big ass? Sorry, I think she's a goat. I haven't saved in two hours again? You're right. I will absolutely remember to save at the next save point. Oh my god. Okay. I won't? What do you mean I won't? How do you know? You don't know me. You don't know what I will or won't do. Okay. We are officially gaming.
Um, I don't know why that eyeball is for oh, it's protecting the elevator, I guess. Beautiful. Okay, what do we have in this room? Gondul, Maiden Custodian of the Golden Wings. Svafa, Maiden Custodian of the Glove of Power. I've already found the Glove of Power. Golden Wings I don't have yet. Do I get Golden Wings? Svafa, am I pronouncing that right? Oh, you try to jump and stuff and fail. Oh, that's, yeah. I got a play pseudo regalia at some point. Jormungand is the Master of Serpents. It's been sealed away in the place known as the Immortal Battlefield. Revive the water surrounding the world and use the golden key to call upon him. I too once attempted to defeat him, but it was no match for the serpent's power. You will struggle unless you borrow the power of birds, moved by a golden key. Sounds important. I'm writing that one down. Oh! I, I said I was, I'm writing that one down. All the best names have SV in them. I agree wholeheartedly. Wait, I can't. I thought you could write this. I thought you could write these down. Okay, never mind. That'll do, big. That'll do. Uh, ow. Jorman Gond is a neat encounter. Good luck. I think it's going to be a long time before I get to Jorman Gond. Avery is my sense of things. Never know. Definitely isn't sticking to North Norse myth then. For one, Jormungand mutually kills Thor. I don't think there is a Thor currently. Oh! I was gonna say, like... Huh. Okay, I did that by accident, but that's cool. What do I get? Death Village. What is that? Killed Jormungand in a cave one time. I, I did that too. I don't think mine was glitched backwards, but I have seen that. Death Village. What does this do? Other dog finally decided to come in. Yo, welcome in, Tech. I mean, welcome in, Tech's dog, I should say. <clears throat> Who did I speak to? Oh, is this guy's is this guy's name Thor? Oh, it is. Oh, hi, Thor. Okay, sorry, Evie. Uh, Evie, I don't know. I just ignore me. What is Death Village again? I don't remember what this is from the first game. It has a lot of... takes a lot of memory, though. I'd have to turn a bunch of shit off for this. For one, I don't think I need skulls. Brung drunk. How about I brung drink some water? Brung slosh. There's multiple sets in this game. Sets of what? Um... I don't really need the encyclopedia on at all times. Do I still collect entries to my encyclopedia if my encyclopedia isn't on? Like, if I kill a new enemy for the first time, but this isn't turned on, then, uh... Does it still get added? I also don't really need snap on until I see the murals, right? I can just swap it on when I see the murals. And I guess same for Mantra, really. I can just, like, turn those on when I actually need them. Yeah. I forget what that does. Or I don't know what that does, but that's okay. We have it. That's what matters. I see tabs. Buy more disk space. I, I There's some disk space upgrade, or at least there was in the first game. The Lord sits on the true throne and encants... Fire rain upon the earth. Ooh. Ooh. Save this one. I have a thought about this one. So in Valhalla, there are 12 thrones throughout the area. When you examine them, they say that the true lord only sits on one of them. So maybe I have to find whichever the true one is, which who knows which one that could be. There could be a couple. And then find when I have more incantations, if I have an incantation for fire and an incantation for earth. And that works. I get three different sets for your apps. Nice QOL feature. Look on the apps menu right now. Three different tabs you can have set. Oh! How do I switch? 
Oh. So do I have to switch between these, like whichever ones are active at any given time? Yeah, okay, so I, I just have to do this. So these are like presets. So I just have to swap between here and here. I guess I'm gonna keep Death Village on when I'm just running around until I see something that I need to either mantra or snap or scan because I don't know what this does and I would like to find out. <laughs> but I'd like, I would like to see what that's doing. Oh my God. When you stop to think about it, heaven's just a place without any actual ground. Scary. So scary. Oh, hey, shortcut. Okay. Oh my god, I almost fell. Doing bad? Would you like to know that feature? I am happy to know that feature, yes, thank you. Okay, good, what does this say? Skogel and Regenleaf. Maiden custodians of the rustic and repurposed. What? Okay. What is this? Yuga, a ring with a diagram that represents the 4.32 million year cycle that the world undergoes split into four ages. These four ages are known as the Satya Yuga, the Treta Yuga, the Devapara Yuga, and the Kali Yuga. A lotus flower is depicted in the center of the ring. Oh yeah? Oh, <laughs> and there's also a trap in the center of the ring, apparently. Wait a minute. Oh, does the result depend on which age? The four ages are the... Oh, okay, so what happens if I find gold? Still bad? Wait. Spoiled the menu puzzle? Yeah. S my M H. Okay, so this is interesting. So it doesn't... Hold on, let me get rid of this arsehole real quick. So it looks to me like the spikes only come out once a certain age on the wheel is reached. Right, so like if I do silver, no, if I do silver, it goes instantly. If I do iron, it goes instantly. But if I go it during gold, then the spikes don't come until the silver starts. What the fuck am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> that... Okay. I have no idea. Okay. Oh, hey, a thing. A big cup. That I'm not supposed to hit. You don't know. Well, I do. Yes. Indeed, you know, Tech. Dude, I hate fighting these guys. They're so annoying. Oh, and they all respawn down there. How do I get over to that side? Wait, the red eyes! What's the deal with the red eyes? Hold on, wait. There was something about red eyes. Dude, I he dodged my shuriken and then I... That's not fair. Hmm. The Cup of Soma. Oh, hold on one Teuton second. What Soma? Soma balls. Sorry, I mean Soma these nuts in your mouth. Um. I had something about a big cup. Keep, okay. Hidden treasure allows one to escape death. Make the climb by Odin's side. Keep the deity's words in your lips, on your lips, as you make for great cup. Do I know any 
words of Odin? Do I have any Odin's words here? What if I have... What if I, like, encant... Uh... Oops. Oh my god. What if I encant my heaven? Nothing. I should leave before I die. Hmm. Interesting. Spell eye cup. I see you pee. Um, okay, what am I doing here? Good question. So that wasn't quite as fruitful as I was hoping it would be. Thousand yard stare. Yeah, I'm sorry. You deserve that one. That's your reward. Oh god, that basically didn't get me anything. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that wheel. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that cup. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't really lead me anywhere. Isn't there supposed to be a guardian in Divine Fortress? I mean, did, is that not a thing where not every region has a guardian anymore? Or is it like the... In the other game, it was... What was it? It was only one of each of the counterparts that had a guardian, right? So, like, because every region had its countering region in the mirror world. And then only one of the two regions had the guardian. But I don't think that dynamic exists here. I don't think there are I don't think the regions are paired like that, where there's like the mirror version. Do I have a fairy that opens a door? You know, I don't. I brought a fairy here to this thing that talked about that, and uh, nothing happened. Use the correct terms. I'm you saying guardian, what do you mean? Do you want me to use? You want me to go back to saying boss? Yeah, I brought the fairy to here, Ironhawk, and it did not summon a door. I think this is this hint is telling me I need once I rescue all four fairies, then good things happen. Just notice someone gave you a gift sub. Did they? Doesn't look like you have a sub to me. Or do you mean to a different channel? Vritra, the calamity of Vanir's creation. Created to overturn the prescripts of the end, it slumbers in an ankh, storing energy until that day arrives. Okay, surely this is what they're talking about. This is this is the guardian for this area, right? I didn't already fight Vritra, did I? Did I fight Vritra yesterday? <laughs> is that who I fought? I don't remember. No, I didn't, right? Happens to end up with random gift subs to people you never watch. Yeah, that happens sometimes. What is the emote you got from that? Is that a butt? That is. That is a fun booty. <laughs> Enjoy the fun booty, I guess. The tablet said, front and back, where there's a front, there must be a back. Yes. The tablet did say that. I'm thinking. I'm thinking where I want to go next. I guess I have to go back to Ice Ice, uh, or sorry, to Cool Cool Mountain. And get fucked. It's pretty much my only real core of course of action. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, there's lots of courses of action, but that's the one that seems like makes sense to me, but I, I kind of know. People give so much, they need more people to give to, so they reach outside the viewing audience. Yeah. Well, did you actually get one to someone you've literally, like, never even clicked the stream on before? I guess that could happen sometimes if someone really gets a bunch of gifts compared to their size. Can't wait until I hit your favorite zone. Could be a while at this rate. Tech, it could be a while. What else is that emote? What else do they have? The fun 12 too easy. Oh, those, those emotes seem like nice ideas when you like click on them in their full versions. I'm already down on help. I I really hate this run back. I really want to get to that fucking 
Ugh. I really want to get to the save point over there, or at least get the map. Free sub's a free sub, it's true. This is undeniable. More cynical take is that it's a scheme to draw viewers in. I think it's... It, giving out random gift subs has got to be the most expensive way to, like, buy growth for your channel. You know what I mean? Like, surely it's got to be cheaper to just get fucking, like, view bots or something. You know? I mean, like... Five dollars just to basically advertise the name of your stream to a random person on Twitch. Hey, look, it's a game. Rumgo definitely finished. Wait, what, what game is that? I don't I actually don't know what game that is. No, excuse me, Drude. I'm I'm looking. I was looking at June's emote. Are you kidding me? Okay, there goes half my health. Stop! Stop throwing! I... that... Okay, cool. Minus half health right off the bat. I want to read this tablet that I've never read, read before. Okay. Sorry, Brungi. This is all your fault, June. Cheapest option is to get good. Do you think, Ironhawk, do you think that getting good at video games makes people watch your stream? I guess if you're if you're like really good at a game that people care about, then yeah. Cheapest way to draw in viewers is to wobble your boobs in front of a hot tub. Uh might be cheap. Secret hidden by the golden rock. Hidden behind the wall. Hinged by the golden rock. That drawing. That drawing. Surely I would have noticed that, right? Hold on. Surely I would have noticed that. Hold on. Hold on. I would have noticed that. Just pretend to fail at the game and plead for help. Do you think that draws in viewers? Save drawing? I already memorized it. I have my rung photographic memory. Anyway, I think shaking your boobers in front of the camera comes with other costs. Oh, I can't. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck me. Did I hard save? I did not hard save. I was like, oh, so I can just hit the thing on the other side of this, but no, I can't walk through here. Man. I trolled myself. Okay. Oh, okay. People love helping. I don't think, I mean, I don't think that can draw in new viewers. I don't think you can draw in new viewers by having a title like Please Backseat. I mean, maybe a few. I, there, I hard saved for you, Avery. I hope you're happy. Hit it or scared? Okay, sure. Fine, I'll hit it. I ain't scared. I ain't no pansy. I'll do it. At least silly Twitch streamers, boobs are non-existent. I have it on good authority, boobs are real. Um, you know. Don't ask me to reveal my sources. But I believe they're true. Or they're real. I actually almost lived. I wonder if I stand right there, do I survive? No, I mean, clearly not. Okay. Prove it or show you some? Uh, just type Poggies in chat, June. You'll see what I'm talking about. I hate this. You don't believe me? Cite your sources? Okay, well, Ironhawk just posted one of my sources. Those aren't real. Uh, what about uh, type, uh, what is it? Like KK02 or something like that? 
AK002. There we go. A, a little hard to make out, to be clear. But those are real. Flat as a. Well, you, don't, you can't say that. That's very rude, Smeebit. Wait for waiting for me to remember a place. It'll be fun. Will it be fun? Remember a place. What place ought I be to be remembering? I wonder. Is there anywhere that I need the monkey's claw here, didn't I? I think I needed the monkey claw here. Or something, or the other. Lots of normal safe for everyone who would get offended. I don't know. I, I feel like saying flat as a board specifically. That formulation is like insulting, isn't it? I forget if I need it. No, I think I just needed sigils here. I think it's sigils I needed for this place. Like, I don't think I was locked behind any anythings. By any anythings, I'm of course referring to, uh, you know. You know. Monkey clawing ability. Monkey claw type rooms. Yeah, I can't get through here. I need to come from above. You come from above. You come from above. Hmm, there is a sigil there, but hold on. Get out of my way, you stupid Poro! Oh my god. There we go. This is what you were waiting for me to remember? I'm so can't get through here. Um I'm pretty sure I need sigils to do anything here, but I guess there's one other thing I could try. Oh my god. I hate Mr. Boomerang Frog, or Boomerang Salamander. Who gave a salamander a boomerang, anyway? Who was it? I bet it was Eevee. I bet Eevee did it. So this is a polished pillar up here, right? This pillar is polished. Does this mean I can... Oh. I can go through here. Interesting. Is there a reason why I would? <laughs> like, does this... Oh, but the other side. The other side. Uh-huh. What the hell? Huh? Wait, I just go straight through that. Wait, what? Why you? I chose a random name from chat. That's why. That's it. Nothing greater. <laughs> Nothing deeper than that. Don't. The giant Burglemir supports the world of frost. His awakening will melt even the eternal wall of ice. Burglemir, eh? Golden altar. Okay, so this sounds like there's an Ankh that's here. That's what it sounds like to me. Okay, don't hit that. Yep, that's understandable. I hate rain worlders, so true. Just despise them. That's why we first started complaining about not having claws. Was it? I don't remember that. Googling KK002 did not bring up anything expected, just a bunch of machine parts. Huh. Oh, God damn it! Well, that got me nothing. Tablet right there in the middle of this room. Oh, is this the one that talks about... Oh, yeah, this is the one that talks about monkey's claws. Wondering because you occasionally ask people what their characters would do with various gizmos. Oh. That's a, that's an innocent. That's a good question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see. I see. It just doesn't seem to do anything for me here, yet. Oh wait, am I dumb? 
Am I dumb? I didn't say there was anything important, just wondering what I'd remember. I, <laughs> I wanted claws. That's fair. Am I dumb? I thought the map showed me what room I was in. Is that not a, has that never been a thing? Am I, am I dumb? I swear the map is supposed to show you what room you're in. Oh, it does. It's just that room isn't on the map. Wait, what? There's a room above? I don't understand. Oh God, do I want an answer to that question? Sorry, wait, repeat the question. I don't know. Maybe, yes. Could you repeat the question? I did that in the wrong order. You're not the boss of me now. Some rooms are a secret? Oh, good. Oh, am I dumb? Yes, I want an answer to that question. I want everyone's honest answer to that question. Spare nothing. Now I can be paranoid forever? Yeah, I'm really glad that there are rooms that aren't on the map. Yes, okay, thank you, Tech. I know tech means it. From the bottom of his heart, excuse me, I'm sorry, it's a terrible yawn. I'm thinking. I'm unobservant? I don't think I am, I don't think I'm that, I don't think I'm particularly unobservant. I really don't think I am. There is a lot to keep track of in this game at any given point in time, you know? And there's a lot of assumptions to make that you, you get screwed over when you make any kind of assumption ever, you know? And But you also get screwed over for, like, trying things. <laughs> so, it's, it's, it sucks. Already in bed, so yawns don't work. Hmm, okay. Then I'm free to yawn as much as I want. Is there anything I needed claw for in Battlefield, like, that I know about? I don't think so, off the top of my head. I should just keep exploring the ice place. Brungo chat. What's up, Waka? What do you got? Honest opinion, no, but it's funnier to say yes. It is pretty funny to say yes, isn't it? But thank you, Eevee. Sweep it is tactically not answering the question. What do you got? Is this like that riddle that Bilbo told Gollum? What have I got in my pocket? I say strings or nothings. Fuck, fuck. I'm mad, I'm mad. I'm getting owned by the skeleton, okay. I fell, I fell. You missed the question? Too busy thinking. Okay, you pulled an onion knight on me. Hmm. Hmm. Oh? Oh! I'm sorry. I was deep in thought. Dude, the fucking bat. I... I hate this. Ah! Okay. Question, yes or no? No. Oh, you have a wide duck ass? Do you really, Waka? Yo. Careful where you flaunt that thing, you know? An ass that wide. Purple lava. The purple lava kicked my ass, not gonna lie. I don't think Waka's got any pocket sand, though, June. He doesn't seem like a pocket sand type. I bet Waka carries mace, though. Okay, let's go. Brungo said yes, he would have given a hint. Ah! Really? Would you actually have? Somehow I doubt it. Somehow I don't... Somehow... I don't quite believe you. Anyone play Half-Life? I have played Half-Life. 
Does anyone want to check out Ironhawk's cool uh, custom map that he made for Half-Life? It's cool. I can't get up there, can I? There's nothing really to do over there. Chest isn't open. There's a sigil I can't open. So, I got fucked here last time. God. Oh, there's a, there's an, oh. There's a ladder out of this area. Pockets of earbuds, chapsticks, keys, a phone, wallet. Chapstick, huh? You're a chapstick guy? Actually, I don't know how... No, no, no! Dude, I hate the stupid jumpy enemies. Okay, we're good. Trying to piece together this game's hard using my Super Mario Bros. 3 playthrough as reference. Well, my Super Mario Bros. 3 playthrough took, what, five days? This is probably going to take about three weeks. So. Oh, that's... Is that a film reel? Okay, whole, uh, this is a whole level of a mortal battlefield I haven't been to. Okay, this is important. Get free advertisement from Brungo? You do. Everyone should play Ironhawk's custom Half-Life mod. Map, sorry. Um, you would have been vague with your hint? Okay, well now I don't get it at all, Tech, and that's not a bad thing. What was I saying? I was saying I don't use chapstick at all, and I don't know how weird that is. I don't... Oh, wait. Can I even... I can't even... Wait. Can I not even... Motherfucker. The Infernal Fiend bites into the neck of the Colossal Dragon, thus binding the two together. Game's difficult? Not as difficult as Celeste. In terms of, like, raw mechanical, like, what... Execution, it's not nearly as bad as Celeste, but... I would say it's more difficult than Celeste. Because Celeste, it's obvious what you're supposed to do, so you just have to bang your head against the wall forever. Why did Twitch... Why did Twitch... My auto mod blocked a link to my own stream. Why did auto mod block the link to my own stream? I... Mother... Jesus Christ. Good job. It doesn't block any... I've never seen auto mod block a link before. <laughs> I guess it's the question mark SR equals A at the end of it that looks sus or something. Deny that? I should have denied it. I prefer Chaps Dick. Yeah, I probably do. It's true. Uh, the Infernal Fiend bites into the neck of the Colossal Dragon, thus binding the two together. Okay. Infernal Fiend, Colossal Dragon, bind the two together. Alright. Well. Oh, I can't- can I even leave? I can't even leave here! I literally can't- I can't even leave. I'm just stuck. Oh my god, it's a pillar. Dude, it's a pillar. I could've- I could've- but now I can't- you see it? Do you see what I'm talking about? That pillar over there, I can go through that, but I can't anymore. Now I can't. Oh, so now I have to teleport all the way out. Now I have to teleport all the way out. To like... To like here. If you go back around, that's true, I just have to go all the way around. Do you think biting the neck of the dragon is kinky, Waka? I'm mad. I would agree with that. Especially if it's an infernal fiend doing it. Any infernal fiends in chat? Any kinky infernal fiends in chat? Ask a donkey. Yeah. Donkey was kind of based, honestly, for that. Raised a whole generation of uh, wonderful people, let's say. Do you think at this point it's just like mainstream it's just like kind of like a given it's like not even like uh you know like a subversion anymore to want to fuck the dragon more than the princess do you think that's just like you know the baseline for where we are at in society it's just me oh okay never mind yeah i take that back
You don't know about that. Oh. You sure? No! Okay, thank you. Okay, up, 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 nope, 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 go, nope. fuck it, I hate the dog, I hate the, I hate the demon, I hate the jumpy spider lady, I hate, there we go, we're good. It's gonna be a 3 a.m. thought for me. I'm kind of tired. What is that coin doing down there? Did you see that? That coin was, uh, that coin was struggling. I don't hate the Squidge. No, the Squidge is cool. He has a lot of health, though. I don't know why he's got so much health. I guess it's because he doesn't really do anything. Other than just kind of Squidge around. Okay, let's try this again. When was the last time I stayed up after 12? I stay up after 12 a lot, but I don't really like do anything. I kind of just like lay in bed or like I zone out watching some streams or something. Virtue is measured akin to a number of ox hooves by first child Kodo Amatsu. What the fuck is it? Virtue is measured akin to a number of ox hooves. That has got to just be a meaningless statement. Your favorite tablet? Does it mean anything? We need a squidge emote. If you want to make a squidge emote, Waka, and it's good, I'll add that. A machine that is perpetually illuminated by an equally perpetual engine that leverages the power of the ruins. It appears to be used to keep the person within the room sealed there. Sealed. But why can't I? Oh, is Huh? Oh. Okay. So I need to break it. How do I break it? Die. Die. Doesn't work. Okay. That's a seal. There's a sigil down there for a seal I don't have. Acquire the illuminating ring of power. Oh, I know that room. I know that room that they're depicting there. I see it. The problem is I don't have the seal. I need a seal for it and I don't have the seal. Yo, a chest. Um. Okay. Wait, this only comes in from that way? How in the hell? It's not just gibberish, surprisingly. Interesting. I mean, most stuff in this game is not just gibberish, right? Well, I'm actually not sure about that. <laughs> Excuse me. I apologize. Suck a lemon for squidge? But like using my face after sucking a lemon to be the squidge emote. Oh, I know where this takes me. Yeah, this just takes me to here. What's the point of this? This doesn't seem to... What? Ah. Okay. What is this emote? Squish. Aw, well, it's not Squidge, but I'll add it. That's a good emote. Skeleton earlier was just quoting a song. Sounded kind of important, though. Was it? Oh, no. Uh-oh. I... Wait, did that guy just blow himself up? They called him the cavalry. There's nothing for me to do here, is there? Dude, I need to unlock more sigils, man. Everywhere I go, I'm being gated by these sigils. Like, everywhere. Fuck off. Hmm. Okay, and I think... Dude, I hate the dog. I can't get through here either. How can the how come the dog can run through the water, but I can't? Yeah, okay. No, no way I can do that. That is so. Ah. 
It's so tantalizing to have that save point or teleport point right over there. So where else do I go? I guess I could try going down in um, in that area. In a mortal battle, not a mortal battlefield. What is that place even called? I forget. I don't have the name of it yet because I don't have it unlocked. I don't go over to the place and try there. Yeah, I'm going over to, well, same place, but trying to slightly different place within the place this time around. I'm gonna go down instead of uh, up to where all the lava is, all the poison lava that like instantly kills me. Yep, that's where we're heading. Oh, but first we have to get past my greatest nemesis, bats and spikes. Ice fire something or the other, that sounds about right. I, God, I, I'm just having a great time. I'm just, uh, we're out here. Man, I really thought that getting the uh, monkey claw would be a breakthrough point for me. I really thought. Okay. I want to not die. Okay. This is going to be tough. My toughest challenge yet. The not dying challenge. The one about beauty begins at the foot of you is apparently a lyric from... Yes, by Siberian Kotru. Really? Is that like a band people know? Because I don't know it. Is that real? Please stop milking every little obstacle. I'm too... Bl Wait, I'm too blonde to care? I'm not blonde, am I? How many spots can I use that claw? I mean, I can't think of anywhere else off the top of my head where it would be useful. I probably have seen at least one more, but... What? It's fake! It's... Why is it a fake platform? Ever heard of the artist yourself? I see. Okay. Welcome to La Mulana. Welcome to the Milking Livestream. This is the only place on Twitch where you can get that hot milking action. Poking every bait platform, yep. There's a surprising amount of milk in them. Oh my god. Dude, 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 I stop. Okay, we're good. You can think of three more places and one of them I've definitely seen, but you're not saying where. Yeah. Dude. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Just get me down here, please. Uh huh. We're going to try this again. Don't mind me, just doing some milking. Is that how you milk? I don't think that's a milking action. <laughs> My god. You know, you should trust me, I'm the expert on milking around here. Uh, okay. Okay, so we need to make one long jump all the way around. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. We're gaming. We have the fairy even. I... I have the distinct feeling that that pot has something cool in it. Eeks in after an evening of Fino. Yo, what's up, Dronin? There's nothing in that pot. 
This just loops back around? That, this just... Ah, I'm so mad. And then I live. I hope your evening of Fino was very fruitful and productive and fun. Vernon? And I hope you had a good day. How strong I have to be to break bones with a whip? Like in real life? I don't know. I don't think whips really... Do whips break bones, like, at all? Was they're just beginning their dreadlands. Ooh. Very cool. Very fancy. Very hype. Right, this is the bird look at the bird's feet clue that I've already used. Oh god. Thought I knew? No, I was expecting that to go somewhere new. Perhaps foolishly. Oh my god, no. The fairy that discovers secrets in their hand, a small key. Where? Where is this fairy? I don't see this fairy. I need it. I need the fairies. Show me the fairies. Where is the fairy that unlocks it? Okay. What about this? This is new, right? Can ma imagine a whip breaking an exposed bone? An exposed bone? Well, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. But I, I feel like the whole point of like whipping it also probably depends on the whip right i think most whips were not meant to be they weren't made to be like a lethal weapon right so they weren't really meant to cause like permanent damage because they were like meant to be a punishment and you didn't want someone to be have like damage from it that would actually impact their ability to like work so it's like the whole point is to get them back to work, right? I don't know. But, like, I think theoretically you could probably make a whip out of, like, metal or whatever that just absolutely eviscerates a person. I don't think hitting someone's meaty leg will break a bone. If they were a walking skeleton, then perhaps. I see. Is June talking about that precise case here where... Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Huh. I can go play the the games, apparently. Let me go read this first before I do that. <laughs> How do I... Am I dumb? How do I jump off of a ladder, like, to the side? How do I... Huh? Secret? There is a secret there, apparently. See Death Village in there? I do, too. Can I, like, not... Am I, like... Huh? I... What? Are you kidding me? There's no way, right? Oh, my God. Just jump it? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I should just jump it. Uh, huh. Well, that sucks. I guess I don't get to read that tablet. I'm kind of curious. So, is this here? If I go to Death Village, do I get to play the Flash game? Oh. Oh, I don't have it equipped. I bet I have to have it equipped. Like, what if I. I think I have my set two equipped. But if I have my set one equipped that's got Death Village on it. Remember if I ask. <laughs> Remember when I asked if I was dumb? Uh, no, I don't remember that. Okay, there's nothing in any of these, I think. Miracle Witch. I want to play Miracle Witch. No. Oh. Okay, well. I've seen more exciting Easter eggs. Oh my god. Where am I? Wait. Oh. Hold on. This is breaking. Stop being a dog. Oh my... 
Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, this just goes back down. Okay. Um. Dogs gonna dog. They do. They are gonna, I guess. Gotta purchase them from Zelpha. But I already have the apps of the same name. You tell me the apps of the same name aren't the, uh. Aren't the thing? Aren't the games themselves? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. If I die here, I am going to be an unhappy camper. I'm going to play it ultra safe. I'm going to cheese this dog. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, this is the Ice Fire Treetop. The searing treetop born of the Valley of Chaos. Oh, thank God. Okay, we got it. Um. And it's in the main area. Not a dark, it's not one of the tar dark teleports. I don't know what the distinction is really, because there doesn't seem to be like a mirror dimension type thing going on here, but sure. Zelda's versions of DRM removed. Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of based. Now, I still don't have the map for this area. <laughs> so that sucks. But, I mean, we can do some, we can do some exploring, you know? Who is in this little uh, thingamajig? Sinmara. Power stolen from the Fairy King is mine. And the power to control flame lies in Searcher's room. If you desire this power, bring me a shining scythe, and then I shall allow you to enter Searcher's room. Power to control flames lies in Searcher's room? Where is Searcher's room? Searcher is one of the giants, right? One of the things said Searcher was a giant. But I think he's up here and not in the uh, Frost Shrine for whatever reason. Have I read this? It's a talisman that can uncurse treasure, a red jewel. The only one of its kind in this world. A jewel of the reddest red representing the mother's life. Okay, good to know that it exists. Oh, I, 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 I keep checking for room names. There is no room name here. Buh? There's no room because I don't have a map, is what I was going to say. Ah, uh, I guess there's poison gas in that room. I guess that room <laughs> has poison gas. Huh. Okay. Well, good to know. Yeah, good to know. I'm a big fan of the uh, meteors being thrown down at me from atop this chasm. Oh, I'm here. Okay, well, I know where this is. They stop milking every little obstacle. You're so right. I am... I'm absolutely terrible about it. I'll try to do better in the future, Rock. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I know where... I've, I've been... From... I've been here from, I want to say, Eternal... Or Immortal Battlefield. That's why I was laughing when I ran away from here. I was half a screen away from that tablet. Yeah, that would have been useful, wouldn't it have been? Would have been kind of nice. God. Dude, dude, dude. Okay. What? Ye who seek the icy treetop acquire the power to surpass Nidhogg. Only those who swing around the icy pillar will reach the icy treetop. The branch lands of the third children who were punished for imitating the mother's power lie beyond. Yeah, I think I've already done, I mean, I have that. I can swing around the pillars. I don't know what exactly, I don't know what it's talking about, because like I've... Is this just talking about reaching the other teleport spot in the same area that I like tried to earlier, but like couldn't? I wonder. What? Oh! Oh, there, there's spikes there. Okay. Oh, those... Okay, I have one HP. Okay. 
Tell me how to get claw? Didn't I? Okay, never, that makes sense. Oh my god, I was getting baited by the coins and I almost died. Oh, I forgot they lunge. I honestly forgot the jumping spiders lunge. Remember those, like, frog enemies in Hollow Knight who everybody loved? Wouldn't it be great if there was a bunch of those early in the game and they're upside down <laughs> on the ceilings? Bed of Foldnir, a small eagle perched atop the head of a large counterpart. Yes, what about him? You love those frogs? Yeah, you would. You really would, Waka. What? Oh, pu pu Dude. <laughs> okay. Just show me what's in this next room. Here's the plan. Stream is over on next death. How about that? However long that takes. Milk? That's not milk. No, I'm not milking. I'm not milking. What? Okay, that's fine. We're not dead. Okay. Okay. There is shit here. And I got immediately pushed off. Okay. Use spaghetti this room too, it should be so easy and yet yeah, it's just Okay. Only those with mastery of weapons may proceed. Fell what foul weaponry comes your way. What does that mean? Got my hands on a treasure map that read proceed fifty feet ahead of the sniping spot. Then I stop and realize I'm stuck in here. Damn it, must have been a trap. A trap, you say? Oh god. There does seem to be a thing up there that is going to toast me. I see a lot of dead bodies. There's also a seal over here that I cannot uh, break because I don't have the seal. I'm going for it. I died. I died. Mm. Well, I said I would go until next death, and would you look at We are just past four hours on the stream. Given ten seconds in between the milking, I lasted more than 10. I lasted like a minute 30, Smee, but maybe even two minutes. Um, But yeah, that was the Friday stream, everybody. I'm looking at the raid, and it looks like it's actually a Liam day. Negative 10 more minutes. I'm on it, June. I'm on it. It's been a couple days since we raided Liam, I think, and I don't see anyone else immediately online, so I'm going to go throw the, uh, the, the, what's the, what are you people, viewers, the raid, all that over there. <clears throat> we, what did we do today? We did not make great progress today. We did not find a single guardian. I am kind of lost, but I mean, we got a claw. We went to some new areas. We're slowly filling out our map, and hopefully tomorrow we actually get to find a boss. That'd be nice. Uh, either way, have a good night, Smeebit, have a good night, June, have a good night, Avery and Waka and Ironhawk, and everyone else who's hanging out. I appreciate you guys being here. Hope you have a wonderful Saturday. I will be back then. Tomorrow might be rough progress-wise. Don't say that. Tomorrow's going to be great progress-wise. Have a good night.